This is a HeadGum Podcast. Live from the Blossom Music Center in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, <laughs> it's Kenny Chesney presents the Here and Now Tour. Wait a second. No, it's not. It's XOXO. Gossip King. King. Here and now, I, I promise to love faithfully. Woo! King. Chesney. That's not Kenny Chesney's song. It's Luther Vandross's song. <laughs> what? Is, I have this disease where every time someone says Kenny Chesney, it makes me think of Luther Vandross. <laughs> you got an R&B disease. You got diagnosed that at the doctor? Yeah. I was like, Doc, Doc, I don't know. Who, every time I see Kenny Chesney, it's I, Luther Vandross. He says, you have R&B disease. What's your favorite country song? Uh, my favorite country song is a song I was trying to sing. Actually, it's funny because we were just talking about how sometimes the fans will help us out if we can't think of something. So there was a song one day I was trying to come up with. We were doing a we were doing a bit about country songs and I he my and I couldn't remember the name of it, but one of the someone I can't remember his name, but they DM'd me and they said, Lamar, the song you were thinking of is John Mellencamp and it goes, Ain't that America? Something to see. Would you call that country though? Ain't that Amer- John Cougar Mellencamp? Yeah. Would I call that country? No, I think I call that Americana. Really? Rock Americana uh, of the 1980s. I, that's my favorite. Little Diddy about Jack and Diane. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when everything was built for tough in America. Johnny used to work on the docks. We got jobs. It's America. We're driving our Camaros. We're going to work every day. We got our leather jackets. We're smoking cigarettes. We yeah. all live in New Jersey. I have an apple pie. I have an apple pie. I got to have an apple pie and a cigarette every I night. I love America. Dinner. God bless America. God bless country. America. Sparklers. The heartbeat of Ain't America. America. Chevrolet. Ain't that rock and roll. Ain't that rock and roll. ba ba na 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 ba 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 Damn. Major League is getting remade. We built this city. <laughs> this is a, the, uh, the, the love editing that, Rochelle. Yeah. <laughs> we got Rochelle back. Rochelle is back Let's from her incubation. Yeah, her vacation in Malibu. Her, her vacation in Malibu. She had to go to rehab. Yeah. Oh, was I not supposed to say anything, Rochelle? Oh, uh, man, she just said don't say that shit on the podcast. I'm That's so fine. sorry. I'm so sorry, but Rochelle was in, uh, what's the rehab where the doctor pops up on the TV? Oh, uh, uh, is it Shades Malibu? Shades, or no, it's called uh, uh, Will, Willows, no, what is it called? Something Malibu. Waves Malibu? What is it called? You know, it ain't called Waves. Nah, don't shake your head. Yes, it, Rochelle. Well, the, well, our fans will tell us. <laughs> yeah, our fans will tell us. It's called John Cougar Mellencamp yeah, Rehab. Rehab. What is that shit called? I know you're talking about. I see you say that shit commercial all the time. Goes, yeah. It's like Willows. Nah. It's know. something Malibu. We ruined the joke, yeah. but that's okay. Cause that's okay. We're not here to do jokes. We're here to talk about this episode, yeah. which some may say was a humdinger. Humdinger. Do you think it was a humdinger? I think it was a humdinger. I think there was several humdingers in it. I really like this one. I, I think there was, um, it started off slow, but I, I'm really excited to talk about it with our special guest we have. Should I bring him on? Wait a minute, I gotta put the cowbell. Okay. It's a humdinger. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. We gotta get a real cowbell in here. I don't I know, that shit don't it. sound like no real cowbell. That, don't sound like a that real sounds cowbell. like somebody is banging on the table with spoons. Yeah, yeah, they're playing spoons. It's the right. 1980s. You just got off work at the docks. Yeah. Uh, That's America. America for it. Tough. Listen. Well, we got a king in here today. Yeah. We got a guest of epic proportion. I'm gonna do some. Ready? Yeah. Right, ready? Here go we ahead. go. Carl, Carl said I can introduce him, and I I promise you I will not fuck this up. Y'all ready? Here we go. We got a king in here today. My man, one of the coolest people on the planet. I met him. I first met him working at the Brooklyn Nine Nine Auto Show where we watch cars. <laughs> <laughs> And he was a fantastic writer. We didn't actually meet in person because we was on Zoom the whole time. He's also, he's penned one of the fantastic classic fight movies called Fight Night. No. (laughs) No fuck. (laughs) Fist fight. Fist fight. (laughs) Damn it. All right, go ahead. You do it, Carl. With Ice Cube. With Ice Cube. And Kevin Hart. That was my impressions of those two people. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Hart's not in the movie. (laughs) Wait, it's it's Charlie Day. It's Charlie Charlie Day. Day. Charlie Day Ice Cube. Ice Cube Charlie Day. Which one was Kevin Hart in with Ice Cube? That was uh, called Ride Along. Uh, Ride Along. Much more successful. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, this man wrote the movie Fist Fight with Charlie Day and Ice Cube, where Ice yeah. Cube plays a teacher that's going to beat another teacher's ass. Yeah. The whole film. He is also the commissioner on Doughboys, which is uh, our brother podcast, yeah. Our Brothers in Christ over at the Doughboys, right here on yeah. the HeadGum Network. 
I also worked with him on Brooklyn Nine Nine, and we did get to meet in person because COVID didn't exist when we was doing it. Yeah, or at least we didn't care. Or about we it. didn't know, or it was already here. It was already here. It was already yeah. in Wuhan, and we didn't know. We didn't know. We didn't know. We didn't know. <laughs> he got a podcast called Deli Boys. Yes, you, you still like- do it. No. You like sandwiches? Deli I, boys love, over. I love sandwiches. We're going to talk about your sandwiches. We're going to talk about sandwiches on this podcast. Give it up. Show your love for our brother in Moses. In Moses. <laughs> <laughs> our Eshak, Meshak, and Abednego. <laughs> brother Evan Susser. Let's go. Humdinger of a guest. We got a humdinger guest. <laughs> Guys, that was great. Oh, I gosh. am. I'm excited to be here. Yes. I've been keeping. I've been keeping my energy low before uh-huh. we started recording, but now I'm ready to bring it big time. I Come was, on, I was bring it. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see quiet in your today. eyes. I, like, I can see in your eyes. Why are you so quiet? Though? What's going on? <laughs> this isn't going to be good. No, I know what you mean though, because I I don't like like even when I was rambling, I feel like everything I'm saying right now is for a podcast. Yeah. But I just don't know. What, yeah, I feel you. Yeah, oh, man. How how excited? I can feel that already. I got goosebumps already. All right, I got guys. the heaven sus goose. I got goosebumps. Evan just touched me on my yeah. arm just now. I, I needed to see the goosebumps. Yeah. Yo, don't ever fulfill the black man's goosebumps. You understand? The black man in America has goosebumps 24-7 a day. All right. Evan, so, so we got very important questions to start this off with. Yes. Question number one. Statement number one. Evan came stomping in the studio right here in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, with the Paul George fives on his feet wow okay yeah paul george is the king of this podcast uh <laughs> the original guy he gave king. me the inspiration i watched paul george play basketball on the court for the los angeles clippers clipper nation baby stand up uh and i said i gotta do a podcast i gotta get my outlet out there mm. are the shoes comfortable because i think they, they are they i got are, a pair they are comfortable and my feet not a lot of cool shoes see the, uh, yeah. are they comfortable i like those I, I think a lot these, these are great I like the gold trim shoes, into it. Shoes. Do they all have look that same color, or do they have different colors? Oh, my! you should see mine. Really? They're in the trunk. I we'll grab them. We'll grab we'll them on the break. We'll grab them on the break. We'll go get my PGs, and we'll uh, bump PGs. So you like Paul George, too? Are you yeah. a Clippers fan like him? Not like Carl, but yeah, uh, I mean, Clippers, sure. More than the Lakers. There really? You know. How nice. Yeah. How delightful. Yeah, we love to see it. Mm-hmm. And Rochelle's uh, a Clipper fan, too. I don't know if y'all knew that. I'm, I'm a Clipper her fan, Clipper too. Fan. I like, I like uh, hair Clippers. Sorry. Sorry for that moment <laughs> this is a clipper podcast second question yeah. first question actually that was a statement what's your favorite sandwich toppings whoa yeah well yeah, if you go if you got it, it. if you can if you are are you are you <laughs> locked in a deli. grocery we store talking. overnight we are we're talking sandwiches yeah. okay you locked in a grocery store overnight you got every ingredient that you may need to make your perfect sandwich uh-huh from the bread to the tuna right whatever it's gonna be <laughs> From mm-hmm. the booty to, to the, the fruity. fruity. <laughs> in that situation. Yes, you're locked in the grocery store. There are no lights on. It's a grocery store, not like a restaurant where they're like, because I'm not going to be able to make a hot pastrami sandwich. You can. You have access oh, okay. to the I have that ability. You have yeah, access yeah. to oh, the that, I mean, I'm probably going to do some version of a Reuben. Yeah. Uh, yeah. At, 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 if I'm in that kind it's of Pastrami drink. Reuben? Pastrami Reuben. With rye bread? Yeah. Mustard? Yeah. I love Or, Reuben. well, you know, mustard or, you know, Thousand Islands. Thousand, Thousand Islands, Islands yeah. is what you go for. Mm-hmm. Okay. The cheese. What kind of cheese? What about corn hash. Corn hash. I mean, that's like more the Irish kind uh, of uh, corned beef pastrami. You know, yeah. I'm, I come at it from the Jewish yeah. side. Uh, Bring that microphone to your oh, to your mouth. Sorry about that. You can sit back. All you right, can relax. Yeah, relax, Evan. This um, is a safe hot place right here. You know, so that's what I'm doing for So you do a pastrami. I love pastrami. Yeah. Let me tell you. You ever been to uh, Langer's? Yeah, of course. Man, that place got good pastrami. Yeah. I used to, eat that I used to live right by there or over. Um, um, in Echo Park, and uh, I just can't eat it no more. It fucks my stomach up, and yeah, I can't eat it, it. It's not great, but you got to power through it sometimes. No, I can't. No. <laughs> no, I was in Langers one day. Advice. You know who I saw in Langers? <laughs> Who'd you mm-hmm. say? Jacob and Ronnie. For real? From the law offices of Jacob and Ronnie. Oh, really? The book on the billboard? Yeah, the billboard. Were, like they the were, they the, were they wearing their napkin in their neck like that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he was eating his pastrami. Like, hey, Jacob yeah, and Ronnie right there. a good case. That's Jacob um, and Ronnie. Law is called Jacob and okay, Ronnie. Okay, what's what you pick? What's what your ingredients? Okay, if I'm locked in a grocery store <laughs> and and I got access to the oven, I'm taking some peanut butter and jelly and put it on some white bread. <laughs> no, <laughs> just playing. <laughs> Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> and eggs. Love. No, no I'm going to go white bread. Mm-hmm. The bread will be white. 
Mm-hmm. I might even. <laughs> Did you grow up off white bread? Like huh? Did you grow up off white bread? Yeah, I used to. We we used to had this stuff called Iron Kids bread. Really? Iron Kids. We didn't commercial. have white bread in my house. It was always honey wheat. Honey wheat yeah. bread. My oh, grandma wheat. liked wheat bread, mm-hmm. but she knew I didn't like that shit. Yeah. So she would give me the Iron Kids bread. I used to, as a, it's funny as a kid, tell me if you relate to this. I, I feel like because we had the wheat, I always fantasized about the white. Same. Mm-hmm. Interesting. <laughs> 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 Oh boy! <laughs> he did it! He did it too! <laughs> he did it! You, you did got it. me! You got <laughs> anyway, so that's All just right. an inside joke between yeah, me and Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inside that everybody's gonna know we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I got it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. um, Focus up. I'm going. Okay. Mm-hmm. I might even do a French roll. Uh huh. Uh-huh. You know what? I'm gonna go crazy on y'all ass right mm-hmm. now. Yeah. This is if I was locked in a grocery store, if I had this option, I'm going over to the seafood section. Uh-huh. And then I'm grabbing some shrimps. Uh-huh. <laughs> what is that? I'm still laughing at yeah. that. All right, that's all right. <laughs> I'm going over, I'm grabbing Walk some right shrimp. I'm going into the aisle where there's flour <laughs> and seasoning. Yeah. I'm getting some flour and some Tony Chasserie seasoning sauce, some salt and pepper. Mm. And I'm making a dredge for these shrimp. Ooh. And so I'm you're going to make fr- a po' boy. I'm making a shrimp po' boy on a, on a big piece of French bread. You got to butter the bread first. Yeah. And then once it's cooked, you toast it with the butter. Put your mayonnaise on it. They didn't know Lettuce, that. tomato, pepper, salt, shrimps, hot sauce. Yes. Maybe a little, maybe a little tartar if you're feeling nasty. Mm. You know what I mean? That's the sandwich that, that I'm going good. for. If I'm locked in the grocery store. You put store. some horseradish on that? Nah, I don't like that spice. Do you like, I, I love horseradish. Sleeping on, I've been sleeping on horseradish. I, I'm, I'm putting Louisiana hot sauce on it. Yeah. Maybe even Tabasco if I want a little bit of extra kick. Yeah. But I, but I'm, I'm horseradish, I don't like mm. non-acidic spice interesting you know what i mean yeah, i don't like, like wasabi you like the hot sauce type like you don't like wasabi i don't like horseradish but i do like pepper you know like yeah vinegary gotcha. hot sauces mm-hmm. and it could be spicy as all hell yeah i like a chili sauce yeah but like you know i like i but i don't wasabi I'm, I, I can mix the wasabi in the soy sauce mm-hmm. but rochelle you locked in that grocery store <laughs> there's a man chasing you inside of there but you don't locked know in. where he's at but oh, he, 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 he's giving you. You have to a, make a sandwich. He's giving you a chance to make a sandwich. What's going on in your sandwich? A BLT. BLT <laughs> on what type of bread? <laughs> on white bread. Regular white bread, mm-hmm. like sandwich bread, Wonder Bread, Iron Kids. Slide the DMs if you remember Iron Kids. It's funny because there's no iron in that bread, huh? No, probably. <laughs> I would do one with sourdough. Sourdough, sourdough BLT. Um, add From some avocado. Northern California, San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, yes. they love they love uh, the sourdough. That big ass alligator. You ever see that at Pier Fifty One or whatever it's called? Oh yeah. That big ass alligator bread. Sign DMs if you ever seen that big ass alligator bread in uh, Pier Fifty One. Uh, now, next question. Oh, yeah. We didn't get to Lamar sandwich. Oh my! I'm pretty classic. I'm just doing ham, pepper jack cheese, uh, salami, and turkey. Put that together. Spicy mustard. What about that? You like spicy mustard? Spicy mustard's cool. Yeah, I put the spicy mustard and a big. I like oil and vinegar. Drenched it all in the and I'll put it on a uh, maybe a hoagie or something. A hoagie roll. Yeah, and then I'll little, eat that little shit. Little cold cut trio for your ass. Yeah, basically, I like cold cut trio. That's what I used to get at Subway all the time. Not to take over. How many mustards do you guys have in your refrigerator? Uh, <laughs> oh man, I have three. I got Frenches. I just go Frenches. Just Frenches. You and have then three. I got I got a fancy one yeah. that I eat with my charcuterie that I make at the house. <laughs> That's great. You be making it at the house? I be making a charcuterie at the you house. You make charcuterie for the family? Every now and then. Special well, do occasion. Do they appreciate it or they disrespect it like they do my man Roof? Uh, with some disrespect. Yeah. Yeah, they don't <laughs> like, understand. They don't want your silly ass charcuterie. They don't understand. Get right now. Mm-hmm. Now, I make the charcuterie and I got the fancy mustard for the charcuterie. Yeah. That's good. I have three. When I said three, I have three of the same mustard, just unfinished. Oh, okay. <laughs> but they're all yeah. Dijon mustard. Mm-hmm. I don't like the regular, I don't like yellow mustard at all. I like the fancy kind. Shout out, Frenches. I'm from America. I'm a patriot. <laughs> and I eat uh, French mustard. I like mustard. my mustard very liberal like France. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like right. my mustard conservative. All Man. right. So we get to these last spotted? question. Hold oh, on, God. we gotta oh, ask yeah. one last question. Yeah, what is your relationship with the G squared gossip girl? All right, here's my relationship. Uh, it's two parter. First, my relationship is I watched the pilot, was mm-hmm. big on the OC, watched a little show, right. thought it wasn't for me. That's part one of my relationship with the show. Gotcha. Part two is I get invited to be on this podcast. <laughs> I say, hey, you know, Carl Lamar, love this. This is great. Cool. I get the follow up. I said I'm in. I get the follow up email. And said just confirm that you watch the show. Yeah. And in my mind, I'm like, well, what does that mean? I'm sure it's like any podcast. You can just right, show right. up. Then, this past weekend, we're all at a uh-huh. wedding together. 
Uh-huh. I see Lamar. First thing he says is, hey, you really watched the show, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Then I see Carl. Same thing. Hey, you really watch it. Like, you know, you got to yeah. know who is is if you're going to do this show. Right, right. So then I got a week to go. And I'm wow. like, man, I'm going to get ready to go. So yeah. I start, I, even while we're at that wedding, uh, I'm rewatching the pilot. Really? I'm, I'm watching four episodes in. Then you guys have this great podcast where you're summarizing episodes. Yeah, yeah. So I'm bouncing back and forth. I'm listening wow. to the podcast. I'm catching up. Wow. I am in. I'm ready to go. I have the jokes. Oh, uh, my God. So I'm ready to jump in I'm here. I'm so Let's happy go. to hear it. We got it. We did it. Go. We did it, baby. Cowbell. This is how we cowbell. put it on. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so anti-climactic. You've got your notes. I've got my notes. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm notes? ready to go. Oh, and they oh. typed up. Um, <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Hell yeah. Because, you know, this is what the show's about. It, you don't mean you don't have to have watched it, but you better start watching it now. Yeah. Because that's because we are. That's what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, we're watching the show in real time. Okay. We have this section on the show that we call Spotted. Spotted. Oh, yeah, you get it. Oh, the show. Sound the cowbell. Oh, my God. Where's the cowbell? Sus. He came to win. <laughs> Yo, I tell you, Sus is like, I'm not finna be one of these guests that I don't know shit. <laughs> these guests be in here being like, which one is Gossip Girl? I know. Uh, we, know who, we, know, we know who Gossip yeah. Girl is. <laughs> which one is Gossip Girl? Don't, don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Show, so you, you really, not, not, you really not lying over here. But I'm seeing some shit, boy. Some stuff is coming up in this show. Yeah. Lamar's got a big spot it. Okay, I just had one. Didn't I was gonna... Um, Say well, let's do a guest spot it, but I was on a walk today with my homie Weldon, and you won't believe who I saw right in my new neighborhood where I live. Won't say where it is because I don't want y'all trying to run up on me. But I'm walking down the block, and then I see my man. All right, I'm gonna say this line, and you tell me because I actually did, I wanted to look his name up, but I wanted to see if y'all knew his name when I say it. Okay, okay ready? Mm-hmm. So, uh, all right, we're gonna do the scene. You ready? Yeah. All right. You want a s'more? I got a s'more if I haven't had any yet. Is that it? Yeah, well, from you Sam- skipped his one dollar. Oh, more what? All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> from Sandlot. Yeah, the yeah. Big, okay. The big fat kid. Yeah, yeah. I saw it. <laughs> no, he's not fat. He's, he looked great. Well, maybe right. not now. Uh, but at the time, that's his whole the thing. Movie. Yeah. Okay, okay. Wait, I want to do the scene, though. Hold oh, on. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. You want some more? Some more what? Smalls. I don't remember it all exactly. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Do you what? know what? The fuck are y'all talking about? <laughs> all right, forget about that movie. All right, remember the movie? All right, he's going to be like, uh, all right, it's the guy from Sandlot. <laughs> oh, okay. Which, which, which what's guy? his name? I don't know his name. The big I guy? You know what yeah. From yeah, Green, you're from killing the, me the, smalls. The yeah, you're killing, killing me smalls. smalls. You're killing me smalls. Okay. The big, right. Mr. Big Green. Yeah, big I, don't green. Know his, I don't know his name. Uh, Rochelle will tell us his name. Okay. Despite being the largest person in this whole studio building, I am the youngest. So uh, You don't remember Sandlot? You I, I remember Sandlot, but I haven't watched it in... But he was like my child, like here he was in all the kid movies growing yeah. up. Yeah, I was and very was funny young when I watched. Yeah, he was he's hilarious. He he was like Smalls, you're killing me, because then Smalls didn't know nothing. Yeah, I didn't know. He What's his name? Babe Ruth was a lady. Patrick Rena. Yeah. Patrick, Patrick Rena. Yeah, he was in the streets walking, and I was. Is he related to Lisa Rena? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, you know, she was like, I'm not looking at yeah. shit up. Uh, <laughs> Well, I thought it'd be a more no. of a humdinger of a spot it, but that's a good it, spot. It was pretty it. good, that's good to me. It. That's a good spot. I was it. like, that's the last person I expected to see. In my, I know in who my, you're talking about. You know who I'm talking about. The redhead dude with the curly yeah, hair. Yeah, and he has and the freckles. Yeah, yeah, he got the he had the eye the eye black. What's his name again? Patrick Renna. Patrick Renna. Shout out to Patrick Renna. If I see you in the neighborhood again, you don't say hi. I'm gonna punch you in the face. I'm just, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But he did he did have that look like don't look at me. Don't talk to don't me. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. It's all good though. I understand. He probably got a lot of people going up to him like, You're killing me, Smalls or yeah. whatever his other catchphrases are. All right, that's You know my who's killing it. Chuck Bass? Who? The death of his father. Yes. yes. It's killing him. It's killing him. It's he killing him. He Take is it. going ham. Don't nobody know where he's at. This episode is entitled In the Realm of Basses. What mm. is the reference, Rochelle? Um, it is a based off a movie called In the Realm of Senses, originally named I Know Corrida. Oh, wow, cool, sick, man! They really go in on these Tight. titles. Yeah, that's an obscure one. I know. Yeah, yeah that's, that's I've dope. never heard of that. Good on that. Um, this was a great episode. I loved it. It was a good episode. It was a good episode. But mm. we're not here to rate the episode yet. We got to talk through it. Yeah. With our brother. What are we gonna do, Michelle? When, when are we gonna? What are we gonna do? So. We we'll get, get, get to that. that. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get to we that. We finally got the. We'll get to that side. We love oh it. We'll get to God. that part. 
Uh, this is the first episode back from winter break. You can tell because it's like all new plot lines and shit. Yeah. Dan looking at Serena's uh, Buenos Aires pictures on yeah. on MySpace. I think you're gonna say on Bumble. <laughs> on, on MySpace, you're on MySpace. Yeah. And Jenny's going back to school now. Here's my bone to pick with this. Mm -hmm. If if I'm knowing correctly, MySpace mm -hmm. was kind of dead at this mm -hmm. point. Facebook yeah. was in. I feel mm -hmm. like Facebook was popping right then. Because right? this is 2009. Yeah. This is later. This is this is 2009. This is the second season, yeah. and it's the second half of the second season. So this shit might low-key even be 2010. I mean, look, you know, they could have just been making a joke, make fun, making fun of Facebook. Maybe they were making fun of Dan because he's poor. He still yeah, has to have a, like, even though both of them were free, he still has to have a MySpace. They would have been like, he has MySpace. He's not ready for Facebook yeah. yet. Everybody was getting fished on MySpace at this point. Catfish? I, I know, like, mm -hmm. I, when I graduated high school, everybody's my, we all had gotten Facebook. That was the first, when they first mm -hmm. allowed high school kids to get on Facebook. Yeah. And then we had to use our real names, which is crazy for us, because on MySpace, you know, you had your fucking yeah, yeah, screen no name that. type shit. You yeah. know what I mean? And uh, <laughs> everybody's accounts started selling mm -hmm. Ray-Ban sunglasses. Remember that? Right. Yeah. Remember no, that? I don't remember this. You remember that, Rochelle. You remember everybody, you would click on a message from your friend, and he was like, hey, bro, open this. And you open it, and it says, Ray-Bans, $179. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's wild stuff. Did you have MySpace? I did. Well, you know, I was working at MySpace. Damn. Around right. this time. He created MySpace. That's yeah, the dude. I'm Tom. You Tom? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and yeah. it was, you're right, it was... <laughs> uh, it was it was a bad days where everybody was getting on Facebook. They were firing people left and right. I'm hanging on uh, there. So, so you didn't want to leave. When people be coming up to you, be like, "Hey, you gonna you gonna go to Facebook? Yeah. What you gonna do?" I mean, I was I don't know what I was just there as like an assistant, just like a day job kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, um, where, was was it, like, where was it? Where was it at? Uh, here, yeah, Beverly Hills. Uh, I would drive to mm. MySpace building and then go take wow. a UCB show at night. Cool. Uh, that was, Tom uh, came. Tom got a bag out of that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the offices were awesome. Did you ever meet Tom? Never met Tom. I did meet Rupert Murdoch, though, because oh, yeah. cause he had bought MySpace. He bought he, it from Tom? Yeah. For a couple bought, billion, right? Yeah, for a lot of money. And then wow. I was working there, and I was checking Facebook. Right. Rupert Murdoch comes by with like a bunch of people. I'm like, shit. Uh, <laughs> he was like, get rid of him. Yeah. yeah. Get, get rid, rid of him. Get rid of that. Who is this, this kid? One. Who get is the Jew? Get rid of him. <laughs> wow. So you really met like a Chuck Bass type. Yeah. Or I mean, wow. a Bart Bass Bart type. Bass. Mm -hmm. That's um, crazy. He was at MySpace. Now, do you remember... When you were there, were, were there any conversations going around about how everybody's accounts were now selling Ray-Ban sunglasses? <laughs> I think, I mean, there was discussion about how it was just like, everything's falling apart. Yeah. It was yeah. just a disaster left and right. And really? it was, uh, I was, work, well, this may be, this is a problem. Anyway, I was working with the legal department. Mm -hmm. So there's just all sorts of issues that it's just, everything's bad oh, is wow. happening. Mm -hmm. And That's I remember so you did go into Tom's office and you were like, excuse me, Tom. And he was like... Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just always right, in there. Right, like, <laughs> right. He's like, wait, hold on, don't come in yet. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Who is it? <laughs> All right, so Eric and Jenny walking and talking about Chuck. I was saying, shout out to the Grizzly Bears intro on the the Grizzly Bears song on the intro. I like that oh, song. Man, I don't be knowing none of these songs unless I know them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's how I feel. But this one I didn't know. Yeah. Grizzly Bear, y'all like Grizzly Bear? You like Grizzly Bear Rochelle? You know Grizzly Bear. Yeah, like in 2012. Oh my God, are you throwing shade on me? 2012. <laughs> I was a grown ass man in 2012. That was a good ass year for music. Good uh, job. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, they talking about Chuck. They don't know where Chuck is. He ain't home yet. Yeah. They cut to Chuck. Chuck is in an opium den. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> that was so crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. That was opium, right? He was straight yeah, up from yeah. opium. Yeah. I was like, yeah. And they didn't show it. Do you see how they didn't show it? Yeah. But like they showed him hold it, and then they just went to him going, ah. Yeah. Ah, and man. it was like, what the? F like, Chuck, okay, I get it. You rich. But you can drown your sorrows in a regular drug. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought I was like, "Have you ever done opium?" Well, oh yeah, all the time. I'm mostly. I'm. I just did it before I came over. Yeah, <laughs> Especially back in 1906, San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah before MySpace came out. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, he. That was so funny. I was dying. I was like, "What are you doing, Chuck? He's really fucked up, man." Yeah. He ain't yeah. got no. He really. I. I understand. Like. Man, he really only had his dad. Yeah. That shit is crazy. But people, people, you know, people. People do care about Chuck. Yeah. And we'll see that. But we can't talk about it now. We'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love this. this we love great. this. Uh, now, <laughs> Big Ruth comes in the door. He sees Dan. Dan slams mm -hmm. his computer down just like Evan yeah. did at mm -hmm. my, when he was at checking yeah. uh, Facebook. And Ruth Murdoch walked by. 
And yeah, he's group. like, I want to walk you to school. Your first day, your last semester. Mm-hmm. Let me yeah. just walk you to school for nostalgia's sake. Right. I, I get that. That oh, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, you know it's cool. I mean? Yeah, and, especially in New York, some nice scenery. Yeah, it's like, let me walk my son to school. It's 6 o'clock yeah. in the morning. I'm just getting home. Uh, really convenient flight uh, that Rufus had, getting him back to the house at that time. So Blair get a letter from the Colony Club, which is a bunch of ladies. They want to join. She's like, oh, this is more mature than my yeah. high school shit. I'm going to join this. Like, it's like one of them women's groups, you know, mm-hmm. like the suffragettes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> you don't really know what it is. It's just called the well, Colony Club. You the suffragettes? Yeah. Boom. And you're trying boom, to boom. figure it out. <laughs> boom. Boom, now, boom. I guess we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Well, we we'll find out to, what it we'll, is. We'll for sure get to yeah. that. But, uh, yeah, so she get that. She's telling Dorota. I'm, I'm, she wasn't this rude to Dorota in the first season. Yeah. Yeah. She, no, nah, she's having it. She's taking some. Her, I think all her issues is taking it out on Dorota. Yeah, sure. I will say, this was Blair... I'm starting to come back on my girl now. She's uh, I like her in this episode. This episode, yes, this episode was a team Blair episode yeah. for sure. We we did notice that, but you know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not. I'm still not fully. You know. Yeah, yeah. You when, might never get when somebody to be shows real. you who they are. Believe them. Yeah. And now, Blair I always has shown been team real. Blair, but team Blair, but Blair's been kind of whack season two. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm telling you right now, I'm back, baby. Queen B, let's go. This episode anyway. was definitely a Blair like. It was a good Blair episode. So she gets a check, a check. She gets a text from Uncle Uncle uh, Uncle Jack Bass, who mm. found Chuck. I'm on my way. I found him. So she runs out. Dorota follows her to go find him. But we gonna get there. Nelly Yuki runs up on Jenny. I was like, Hey, Jenny, so glad you're back at school. Right. And Slim Charles run over her like, You got to get your prescription checked. I don't think mm. you see. Who that is? Yeah, that's Jenny. That's Jenny Humphreys. Yeah, yeah. We don't we don't fuck with Jenny Humphreys. Yeah, you know the rules. You know what I'm saying? That's East Side. We what? We over here. We West Side. <laughs> yeah, it's West Side. Cause you know Slim Charles. I don't understand why won't she take the crown? She She's won't take the crown. Clearly a leader here. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. Number two. That shot was so tight. Do you see how they pulled up on him? I love that shot where Jenny's like, because you know Eric is like, you nervous about the about yeah. the um, crazy girls? And then she's like, man, I ain't tripping over these girls. And then she's like, yeah. I'm kind of tripping over these girls. And then if they pull up, it was like zoomed up, and the whole, it was Sim Charles, Apartment 4B, and Black Queen. Yeah. They were just looking flesh fly as hell. Just like, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, it'd be Nelly, in Apartment 23. Nelly uh, Yuki, she's whack. She whack. Nelly Yuki is right. whack. We're going we gonna to get to why Nelly Yuki whack. Yeah. But they treat her like dog shit. They're like, Nelly Yuki, you be, get over here. Like, they, it was crazy how they were treating Nelly Yuki. I was mad about that for a little while. Mm. So <laughs> Jack Bass pulls up with Chuck. Yeah, what do you think of Jack Bass, Carl? He looked like he looked kind of like Bart. They, that was good casting. Yeah, yeah, he did kind of like he, he kind of had like Bart. It was, it was good casting. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know him? Like, do y'all recognize personally? It? No, I mean, I, <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he looked familiar. Yeah, he does look familiar, but I, I can't I think of what I made to see him, man. Huh? Yeah. Do you know him, Rochelle? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Rochelle, hey, what do y'all so, know him? <laughs> yeah, Rochelle's like slowly turning in that chair so it doesn't fart anymore <laughs> while she's trying to Google. Uh, yeah, no, he is good casting. He seems like there's something about him that I don't like. Oh, I don't like him. Right yeah, from the there's go. something about him. I don't that's like. Weird. Well, I don't like anyone in that family. No, 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 no. In the no, Bass no. family. Yeah. No. It's Not good. even. Uh, yeah, I guess it's only those three. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he, he just seems too. Lacks a days of cool mm-hmm. with yeah. Chuck. He's like, hey, what's going on? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I love my nephew. Like, man, you've been in Australia for all these years. You don't love this kid. Something he's got. And Chuck get out the car. Chuck is chucked up. Uh, Blair sees him. Since yeah, he Chuck. looked chucked up. He was chucked mm-hmm. up. He was so fucked up, too. And, you know, God, man, I feel so bad for him, I guess. <laughs> he's still off that opium. He had to fly yeah, 15 hours. He's opiumed out. He's all, he's OPM. He's, he's OPM. He's, he's OPM. down with OTM. OPM. And Doretta is with Blair at that moment, Dorota right? is yeah. with she Blair. She looks like she's, like, seen a ghost yeah. when she sees Chuck. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. <gasps> yeah. She going oh nuts. <laughs> it blows her little maid thing yeah. off. Yeah. Boy, <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Uh, yeah, why did she look so shocked? Like, <laughs> she's like, whoa! Yeah. You know what? Yeah, I feel like they didn't know how to direct her at that moment. Yeah. At least like, they should have, like, gave him a beard or something. Yeah. yeah. He looked he, the same to me. Yeah. His hair was just a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah. he just like looked like he just need a nap. Yeah, yeah. He needs a nap. He was already kind of sleepy. You ever take an opium now? That's when you take opium and go to sleep. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, again, I, didn't I do not do opium. I, over here. I repeat, I do not do opium. That's what you uh, sleep take on a plane. Ugh, I yeah. cannot. I hate to fly. I got to mm. smoke some opium before I get on this flight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So uh Blair sees Chuck and they walk right by and then she look at Dorota and go, Why are you following me? Go get set up for my party tonight. It's like, man, Blair, you're gonna stop treating Dorota like this. Yes, Miss Blair. <laughs> yes, Miss Blair. Yeah, she does treat her like shit. 
So Roof walks Dan to school. And after he drops him off, he's like, oh, I'm at school. Dan disrespected his dad. Best dad on the show. Yeah. And he gets a call from an adoption agency. Wow. Boom. Hum. hum dinger. Dinger. Hum, hum. Dinger for your Where's ass. Where's that cowbell? Now, here's what I thought. I thought, <laughs> I thought that she had gotten an abortion. That's why she was in the hospital mm-hmm. in France. Turns out she didn't. Yeah. She had the baby mm-hmm. right. and gave the baby up. So now we know. And Rufus is mad. He's yeah. pissed. He's been trying to find his kid. Mm-hmm. He wants to know. He's pissed that she didn't tell him. He's like real mad. I get it. Mm-hmm. This is a matter of seen him. Yeah. The whole episode. The whole the whole series is mad. I mean, yeah. no, no, he was pretty mad at Jenny at, at certain points. Yeah. But oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh, I, I, I kind of get it. But I'm yeah. also like, eh. Like you, like, you think. You got to understand that, you know. It's hard to understand, like, I don't know, the way he bit that green apple. I was yeah. Like, he is furious. Well, he's, <laughs> he's not doing any cooking this yeah, episode. Yeah, no, no, he's no, eating no, an no, apple and <laughs> Drinking coffee. He saw him drinking the coffee. Yeah. He ate yeah. that apple. He was like, oh, you should, shouldn't you be getting to school? You should be getting to school right now. Yeah. yeah. And he bit that Get apple and one tooth was breakfast. stuck in the, in the, uh, that came in the apple. Just yeah. <laughs> blood coming out of his mouth. This is fake fruit. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then, uh, Dan, him and Dan are beefing hard. They beefing uh-huh. hard. I don't know who saw them on. Oh, so did we talk about uh, Dan and Serena yet? Oh, no, no we don't get there. We're going to get to that. Okay. Because uh, we need to talk about that. Yeah, I got lots that. of opinions. We're going to get to that. We'll get to that. That shit is hilarious. Okay. Dan, when he when he walks into school after after leaving Big Roof, he sees Serena in the window. She broke up with Aaron on the trip. Yeah. Why yeah. did she do that? Because her parents she, ain't getting back. To, she was like, my mom told me that me and Rufus ain't gonna, her and Rufus ain't gonna never be together. So right. we can be together now. Mm. Like y'all could have been together before. It still wouldn't have been parents. Yeah, parent. it doesn't. It doesn't work. That tension. Yeah, they can just be together. I know. It's like, either an issue that your parents have been in love yeah. and out of love. Yeah, that's either a problem or, or it's not. not a problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. I agree. Evan, a hundred percent. Because it's like, it's like you guys clearly are attracted to each other. Still, you want to fuck right now. Yeah. I can see it in your face. You're just like, you know, it's like this is not incest. Is the incest is the issue? Yeah, I don't know. I think that's what they're trying to act like. That it, yeah, that but it's, it's not. It's, it's not incest. So, so you ever do that? <laughs> no, never. That's a crazy I mean, question. <laughs> hey, look. I only have a brother. Um... <laughs> you know, also, incest isn't limited to his brother and sister, sure. by the way. So Dan, see, uh, she, they see each other. They start kissing. They back together now. Mm-hmm. She broke up with Aaron, which I'm happy for. Yeah. Yeah. Because Aaron sucks. He's gone, oh, bro. He's terrible. I'm not even, yeah. This ain't no spoiler, but I, I'm just happy to celebrate. We could do a cowbell for this. Aaron is gone. No more Aaron. We ain't never going to see him again. <laughs> Thank you. Here's my wait. other issue with Aaron. Aaron is supposed to be Wallace Shawn's son. Yeah. Who, you know, we didn't get to talk about this because I wasn't on early. Where I was like, where are all the Jews in the show? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, we're in New York City. Right, right. It, Schwartz creator. Yeah, where, where are you at? What's going on? Yeah. representation. But uh, then we have Wallace Shawn on. But his son, Aaron, is supposed to be Jewish. I don't buy it. You don't believe uh, that he's Jewish? No. Interesting. Mm. He is a weird kind of quiet, a good weird point. man. I didn't buy it. I was happy. For yeah, him he doesn't have that energy. Yeah. Wait. So uh, Dan has the most Jewish energy. Is are they Jewish? No, Jewish. they're not. They're not Jewish. But nah. it kind of like feels like he has like that Seth Cohen right, kind right. of thing that just that's that that's probably character. what's happening. Yeah. Like he's probably the Schwartz is he's all his energy went into Dan. Yeah. And he probably didn't. He ran out of his. Yeah. Ran out when he got to Aaron. Right. Yeah. I went to school with a lot of Jewish people like Aaron. Like yeah. Aaron. I went to school with a whole myriad of Jewish people. Mm. I grew up on the west side of Los Angeles. That's where they be at. Yeah. Uh, shout out to the Jewish homies. Um, <laughs> yeah, shout out to Sorry, them. I derailed. Nah, <laughs> uh, yeah, hey. Aaron's gone. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to the, the Jewish homies. <laughs> we're going to get to the Jewish homies. Can we talk about we'll this? I don't know. Well, Rich, we make a new one that says, we'll get to the Jewish homies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, so they start kissing. I don't like this. I don't like, the, I don't like her being with Aaron, but I also don't like her being with Dan. I ain't going to front, though. Real quick. Okay, like I said, mm-hmm. they do not need to be together, right, Rochelle? Serena, Dan, I'm out. I don't want to see it. But I'll say, when that motherfucker kissed her, that shit was sexy. It was right? steamy. It and was when steamy. he walked in, he was like, because she was like, well, how you feeling? Uh, and then he was like, come here, girl. Gobbly, 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 in gobbly, the middle gobbly, of school, gobbly, too. Gobbly, gobbly. I was like, you got to think in mind, because, you know, you got to think about Dan, where he come from. This is why I, I like this show, because it's like, you watch it. This dude went from being the punk. Like, he mm-hmm. was like, no one, no girls, nothing, to being like, man, come here, girl. You know what I'm saying? Not gobbly, intimidated gobbly, gobbly, by gobbly, her gobbly. at all. 
It was so cool, man. So cool, man. It was so cool to see. That's him great. Kiss I'm her still like in that. on Dan and Serena. <laughs> yeah. You like, you like, I like them? them? I'm rooting oh, for it. Get, out of here, get this dude off my fucking uh, show. Hey, we're going to we gonna get him out of here. We're going to get him out of here. Man, let me. Wait, wait. Rook, why do you think they should be together? I just, you know, it's like the classic thing. He's the outsider. She's like the. She's Mrs. Ryan Reynolds, you know? She's like the queen. It's like. No, no. Blair's the queen. You don't know nothing. <laughs> Slim, Slim Charles is the queen. Yeah, Slim Charles. I'd rather Dan be with Slim Charles. Now that'd be that'd tight. be good. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be interesting. That, that would drive each other I, insane. I know that'd be like a real like love. Like they would just hate set, have sex yeah. with each other. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, Nate wasn't in this episode at all. Yeah, oh, we're here. Oh, because he moved at, at the end yeah, of last he did, season. He did. Yeah, he moved. He moved to the Hamptons, right? So yeah, he's and his boy is. He needs to be there for his boy right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. Chuck is is really alone. So Blair tells Serena they're walking up, mm-hmm. and uh, Dan is like, I'll see you later. And she's like, I yeah. told Chuck I love him. This shit's crazy. Yeah. She's she's going insane about this because he won't say it back to her, which yeah. I think he should. I, now, that's a couple that I do believe in. Yeah. I believe in, be in Blair and Chuck because they're both awful. Uh, Lily like, pulls up on Rufus. Mm-hmm. Lily pulls up on Rufus. Rufus hot. He got his hot look on. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, why I ought to? <laughs> and he's pissed. He, he, he is he, not she, fucking she, with Lily right now. He, he's like, what was it? Was it a boy or a girl? She's I don't like, even know. I, I don't even know child. Child. I'm trying to say child. Have to say child. Where's the child? <laughs> the <laughs> child. I can't find him. And then, yeah, he needs because he needs the info. Yeah, he, he needs, needs the, the info, info to find the child. So he just literally was going around like looking for this kid. Yeah, with do no y'all info. have any kids here? And they're like, yes, it's adoption agency. Yeah, <laughs> he must have looked like an idiot just yeah. walking these adoption agency. Like, like I, I got know. no information. I just need to know if there's a baby that looks like me <laughs> here. Look at me. <laughs> These are my baby pictures. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so they, the, she's like, she feels really bad. And he's he's kind of going off. I didn't like the way he was treating her in this moment. Yeah. No, gotta, this is, it's her decisions. I just feel like he's being too hard on Lily because, like you said, Lily was a kid she was, yeah. when she when this happened. So And they had broken up. Yeah. That was when they yeah. first, like, her, her mom mm. was Granny Cece with the ass. Yeah. That's when she first... Granny. Cut that shit off. Yeah, so you know there was nothing. You know, and Lily's probably just lost in the sauce. Didn't know what to do. Yeah, you know, I get that. And that's but, probably why she went to friends. I get. I, I mean, yeah. they they kind of didn't explain that enough. But yeah, but she I can't was, tell also, him. I, I feel like Rufus just feels betrayed more. So. Yeah, he's and he's yeah. just angry. He's like, taking it on everyone. Yeah, she said yeah. out on the apple. Yeah, he's yeah, 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 been, he, apple he been another fresh. apple, and yeah, his other tooth fell out. So now he got apples all over New York City. Hey, and a great apple with a bunch of teeth. Took a bite out of the great, the big apple. Uh, uh, take a bite out of the apple pie. New Jersey, built for tough uh, America. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're not back yet. We'll be right back after these messages. Man, oh man, oh man. Athletic Greens has changed my life. You know why? Why? Because I have stomach issues. You know that. Everyone knows that. Mm-hmm. My, if you were listen to my rap music, I talk about it in all my rap songs. I'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. The stomach hurts. And He's then, the only rapper out right now. Talking about stomach issues, which yeah. plague more people than you think it does. It does, yeah. And I'm real. I keep it real in my raps in these streets. You know what I'm saying? I don't hide that shit from the public. But I'll tell you what. Now I can't rap about it no more. You know why? Why? Because I'm eating these athletic greens. And that shit has cured my stomach issues. You know what it. type of issues I had? What? I didn't have enough adaptogens in my life. Oh, yeah. I feel I wake up in the morning. Yeah. Saying, Man, I'm not you adapting be saying well that around situation. the comedy scene, too. They be saying, like, I said, what do you think of Carl Tart's comedy? He's like, not enough adaptogens. Not enough adaptogens. Yeah. Well, I can't say that no more. My comedy mm. is full of adaptogens now mm-hmm. because I also drink athletic greens in the morning. You be drinking it every day? Every day. I'll go, mm. I'll get my 12 ounces of water in my little bottle. My little bottle, I put my spoonful in there, I take it out, I smell it mm-hmm. first because it's got like an yeah. interesting smell. Yeah, it smells uh, good. It smells, it smells good. Like, like chlorophyll or something. Yeah, it's like an yeah. essence of green, you know what I mean? Yeah. Athletically green. Yeah. And you know what? It, does, it has more than adaptogens in it. It has 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food sourced superfoods, yes. probiotics, and on top of that, it has adaptogens in it. You need to start doing this. Mm. Okay? Yes, I love it. And it just really just benefits your lifestyle. Like the energy, the, the tiredness, all that stuff, it helps you. Like, you, you know, you, especially when you're a person like me who's always on the go. I'm always on the go. I, on the my go. neighbor's like, where are you going? I said, I'm on the go. You know, I like stuff that tastes good. Okay? <laughs> I don't yeah. like stuff that tastes bad. I can't take it. Yeah, I don't. I'm I'm a person who's allergic to things that taste bad, mm-hmm. and guess what? This tastes good. It tastes good. It tastes you sweet. know, it tastes so good. And if it didn't taste good, we could not do this ad. And here's the best part about it: it costs you less than three dollars a day. You're investing in your health, and it's cheaper than your cold brew habit. You're drinking all that damn cold brew coffee. Yeah, you need to be drinking athletic green. It's also cold. Yes, it's, I drink it with cold water in the morning. So. 
To make this easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash oh my gossip. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash oh my gossip. O-H-M-Y-G-O-S-S-I-P. Take ownership over your health. Pick up the ultimate nutritional insurance today. Go get it. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. And we're back. We're back. We're back. We are back. So where we last left off, Lily had told Rufus that she don't know where the kid is because she gave up her rights to try to find exactly. the kid. Exactly. Which happens in adoption. Uh, but we go over to Pinkberry, where mm-hmm. the kids are not. Her other kid is there, Eric. Was that Pinkberry? That was yeah. Pinkberry. Yeah. Oh, shit. Shout out to Pinkberry. I remember Pinkberry. Pinkberry was a movement. Yeah. Pinkberry was a real moment. Was a big and then time. Yogurtland. And being on television was a big part of it, yeah. too. Sex and the City, oh, Gossip right? Girl. Oh. And then Yogurtland came in and was like, like a yeah. Shaka. Yogurt Yogurtland Shaka. was like Raymond Washington when he started the Cribs. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, no, nah, we doing it. We on the east side. Um, anyway. Yeah. Uh, so I, they there. Slim Charles and the videos. girls. <laughs> Slim Charles and 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 being apartment twenty three and Black Queen treating Nelly Yuki mm-hmm. like shit, mm-hmm. spilling shit on the shoe, making a girl wipe the shit off her shoe. That was, was crazy. Like, that was nuts. Yeah. And so like that was yeah. Slim Charles was wilding for that. I was like, no, Nelly Yuki, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, don't wipe the shoe. Jay's is watching it. And I love that Eric. I love this in TV shows, even though like showrunners hate this shit, or maybe the showrunners I work for, but like. I love when there's a character just all around, along the ride for a story, but it really ain't got nothing to do. Like, Eric was just literally, like, just an <laughs> yeah, observer. He's like, yeah. what are you going to do about that? What are you going to do about that, Jay? <laughs> With his oversized clothes. Yeah. Like, man, if they don't get like this boy some clothes that fit. Especially as an actor, like, that's such an easy role. Like, he probably had an easy week. He was just yeah. like, yeah, I just get to sit here and comment on yeah. little <laughs> yeah. Anyway. yeah. And he always got the right thing to say. He's smart kid. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Good kid. Good head on his shoulders. Good head on his shoulders. Good head on his kid's Good knees shoulders. on his toes. Good knees on his... T- <laughs> good head on his shoulders. Good knees on his toes. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, Jenny stands up for it. She's like, I right, can't take this no yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. Y'all gonna stop treating Nelly Yuki like that. You can be nice to the- yeah, Nelly Yuki. Right. And they're like, do you know what you're getting yourself into? She's like, I don't even care. Yeah. I don't care. You ain't gonna like, treat my girl like this. You ain't gonna treat like the this. girl. So, she snatched her up out of there. And mm. she's like, thank you so much. She's like, get out of here. Mm. So, Chuck at the school... He's smoking on the hashish. Yeah, he he he's just an addict now. Mm-hmm. You see this shit? That's all. Uh, he went to school. He's like, I didn't want to miss the first day of school. Yeah. But I decided to smoke some hash. He's so weird. He's weird. I mean, that's such a weird re- way to rebel. <laughs> he's it's just like, yeah. Everybody, but that's how you know it was back in the day. Everybody's like, is that what? Is that what I think it is? Yeah. Get, get uh, Ah, oh, oh no! Uh, it's hash. It gives me a smooth. But smoking high. in school was crazy. Did you ever smoke? Did y'all? I guess you didn't smoke I didn't in high smoke. school. Did you smoke no. weed? And in high school, no. We I used to smoke weed. But one thing, we, all my weed homies, cause we we smoked a lot. My grade smoked a lot of weed. We were like mm-hmm. the big weed grade, and we never smoked at school though, cause you yeah. would get your ass in trouble. Yeah, you I had a friend get, who yeah. uh, got arrested at school. Yeah, for, yeah, arrest your ass. Yeah, that's one like time, jail shit. Yeah, yeah, they'll fucking like smell your fingers and shit. I remember this kid who had come to our school for a while. He was actually trying out for the basketball team a little bit, too, mm-hmm. in summer school. He used to walk around with a shoebox every day. Mm-hmm. And in the shoebox, he was selling weed. Oh, wow. In the sho- I'm like, that shit's obvious as hell. Mm-hmm. When he showed this to us, why right. y'all got that shoebox? You got some new kicks? He was like, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, was a bunch of like, dime bags and shit. I'm like, bro, why, why, get you? why not put that in something that you, yeah. that you can't like easily drop? Yeah. And it spill mm-hmm. everywhere. Yeah, like if he trips and falls, it's gonna be yeah. there one everywhere, all through the hallway, especially that in those kind of slippery can't hallways. Lock a yeah. Box. Also, now that I think yeah, about it, yeah, you could just steal that shit. Too. Yeah. That's crazy. We were like fifteen. Mm-hmm. That's nuts, man. Yeah. People wow. grow up fast in this world. I know. Lil yeah. J, she's just fifteen. Lil J, yeah. fifteen. Yeah. She's not ready. Yeah, yeah. she's not ready for high school either. Not ready for um, high school. I'll tell you all. what, though, man. Fucking Chuck. What were we talking about? Sorry. Oh, he gets <laughs> he gets caught he gets caught by the headmistress, Mister Bass. Yeah, she was looking kind of good today, too. She was, <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I'm going to stop sexualizing these old ladies. <laughs> Mr. Bass, bring that ass to my office. <laughs> bring that ass. A quick trivia. Uh, did you notice? So I start, and now that I'm watching so much, I've watched the credits now, who the writers. And one of the writers' last name is Queller. I think they named her Miss Queller after oh, one of the writers. Oh, that's, that's crazy. Good. Yeah. 
She's doing yeah, supervisor yeah. for this or something. Miss Queller come head mistress Queller comes out there and is like, Mr. Yeah. Bass, bring that Bad ass, ass. <laughs> to my office now. <laughs> so Big Roof pulls up on Dan and Dan and Serena in the house and they look yeah. like they just got to They get it in. I like that joke. We're like, we busted. Yeah, he's like, busted dad. So you know, I'm out here. I'm out here getting it in. Pop, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know how to swing it around. Yeah. I like you used to do back in the day when you was on tour. Like, Every time you walk away, I watch that ass. You you know you know what I'm saying? Pops. You taught me well, Pops. Yeah, this your boy right here. You see your inheritance. Getting an end with the baddest chick in New York City. Look at this. Look how fine she is. Look at this girl. She always on page six, Pops. And I'm popping that Pops. I'm hitting that shit, Daddy. And Rufus is like, man, get out, get yeah, out get of my, out house. my house. Yeah. Get this devil out of here. What if she, what if she was like, get the white devil out of my house? <laughs> Rufus, Rufus was so mad that he that she gave his kid up for adoption that he joined the 5% nation. Yeah. <laughs> He just joins it. He's like, he's like, I got some new friends. It's, what if like it came back to the scene and it's just Dr. Umar yeah. and a bunch of five percenters and he's like, this is who I roll with now. Yeah. Really, everything been betrayed me. Yeah, get this devil out of my house. They're gonna help me find my son. Yeah. He always every time you see him, he got like three like black Muslims with him, like, yeah. with the security guard. Yeah. Suit of Islam. Uh, <laughs> so um, she's like, Don't you I think it's time for Serena to be leaving? Yeah. And he's like, Dan's like what? Hold on, you can't just, it's like, yeah. what you mean? I can't just, this is my house. Yeah. Like, that, that's the, my both home. Of his kids, yeah, you see that shit? Yeah. Both of his kids be pissing me off with that, like, yeah. when I tell you something, yeah. do it. When yeah. I tell you do something, you do it. Don't fucking question my shit. Yeah. That's the, that's the shit that I just can't relate to. Even though in that moment I was feeling, I understood why Dan was like, because he was like, you're already keeping shit from me. Yeah. I'm trying to fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Going on, like, well, it's also like, the rules have changed. Yeah. What's going on? You, yeah. you used to be cool with this yeah, kind of yeah. like, what's going on? Yeah, you used to, yeah, well, you used to hook up all the time. You was right there watching us. And <laughs> <laughs> you, used to, you used to watch from outside my door. You know, uh-huh. That little hole in the water. You used to watch. Rufus uh, is like, nah, it ain't fun no more. It ain't fun. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't fun no more. Evan, did you, <laughs> what was your relationship like when you were in high school with your parents? Would you ever talk to your parents like how Rufus? No, never. And I have a daughter, and mm. I'm watching this show, and I'm like, if this girl ever talks to me the way Lil J <laughs> yeah. talks to Rufus, it's over. <laughs> Listen, all you got to do is not let her go to private school. No way. Mm-hmm. Don't let her go to private school. Don't let her drop out to become a designer. (laughs) No, that's that's the same behavior. It's like, but you know, it's funny. I feel like the irony of Rufus is like, he caused this whole problem by taking him to that school. Yeah. Yeah. He should have just kept him in the private. He wanted Uh to give him a better life. Yeah. But he should have kept him with the shitty life. That's how you make your kids strong. That's how you make your kids you know, shitty life. Again, their shitty life, which is also pretty good. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Nice Brooklyn night life. Yeah. Now, right Rochelle here, she's 15, and she goes <laughs> to a school in Thailand. Mm-hmm. Thailand, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that uh, I'm not tripping out here. It is Thailand. Yeah. And they had, at prom, they weren't allowed to dance. They just had to sit around and eat. For real? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was, it was a well, you had to sit around and what? And eat. It just, what did you eat, pizza? I Thai don't food. even remember what it was. Uh, it was some fancy food. Thai food, though? Was it so fancy? It was just, like, it was just like a nice dinner, then. It was like a nice dinner. I like that. That sounds yeah. actually better. Been dancing? Well, nothing's better than dancing, Carl. Yeah. Matter of fact, play that track. <laughs> okay. Ain't that America? Um, yeah, I don't um, know. Um, you know, but let me ask you this. This is my last question about your prom. What, did it make it less pressure to get asked out, or was that even part of it? Like, were you guys, you know, there was still a whole culture of, like, who are you gonna ask? Who are you gonna ask to go with you? There, there was still that culture. Oh. Yeah, um, yeah. so that's someone. interesting. Yeah. So it's actually the same kind of pressure, though. But I guess when you're in my mind, when now when you're at art school, we're kind of thinking, who am I gonna be dancing with? And that slow dance comes. It's gonna be wild. Anyway, all right, let's <laughs> back to the podcast. Who am I gonna be sitting next to when that salad course comes? I know. Yeah. Nice, <laughs> no, who do I want to eat salad with? You want to <laughs> eat salad with me? Um, when that hot curry comes, <laughs> thinking of what I get from Jitlada. Oh yeah! Shout out to Gelada. Shout out to Gelada. Very good restaurant here Very in Los spicy. Angeles. Very good Thai restaurant here in Los Angeles. You ever ate there? Yes. You like it? I like it, but it's it's too spicy for me. Really? Yeah, no, that's how I know. You lived I'm not in tripping. Thailand. I know. Do you like spicy food? I do, but uh, for a Thai person, I'm not very good with it. Damn, damn, daddy. <laughs> 
Damn, Zanny. Damn, Zanny want a hot dog? <laughs> what? Uh, okay, who's who we, uh, what character are we All on? Right, so they in, they in <laughs> Mrs. Queller's office. Oh, uh, yeah. Chuck Bass has Blair brought that ass. Inserted, yeah, and then Jack pops, pops Jack Bass ass. has brought that yeah. ass. Yeah. He comes, because Blair is in there representing him. He's like, yeah. his stepmom is fucked up. His dad is mm-hmm. dead. Like, I'm in here to represent yeah. him. Like, and then That's Uncle Jack up. walk in. How yeah. does he know? Who calls him? I don't know. Because Blair don't fuck with him. <laughs> yeah, who? someone called her. How then, he, yeah, you're right. How did he know to go in? He, he kind of came in the way. I don't know if you're gonna get this reference, but it's a reference to my spotted earlier, because he came in like uh, Gordon Bombay yeah. did, and, and Mighty mm-hmm. Ducks just walked up in the in the thing at the last minute. I feel like that was a reference to that. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> is that who played him? Yeah. Uh, so he walk in, and they're like, "She's mm-hmm. like, what are you doing here?" And he's like, "I'm yep. care about my ne- nephew," but yeah. he doesn't seem to care about him. He's like, he no. thinks he's cool. Like he's like, yeah. "Oh, you smoking hash?" Oh. Like, yeah. like nephew, like uncle, you're like, having fun. And then, then Chuck is like, "When'd you get here?" Yeah, <laughs> he didn't even like, know he was there. Yeah, yeah. that shit was like, crazy. Don't you he remember even, I took you like, here from Thailand? He was like, uncle Jack, good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like happy to see him. That was kind of funny. You remember we traveled here for fifteen? Hey, how you been, man? I love it. He was like, "You weren't at the funeral, though." Yeah. <laughs> Why he wasn't at the funeral? Because he didn't get back in time. But he went to go find his nephew. That was cool. Yeah. So Dan and Rufus mad at each other. It's an awkward ass breakfast. This one he bite into the apple. Mm-hmm. Oh right, right. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, and, and Jenny is like, "Wait, Dan's mm-hmm. back with Serena? How come I didn't know?" Yeah. He's like, nah, he ain't back. It's a bad mistake. Yeah. Like he like he thinks it's a bad mistake. He's like fucking with them women. And he, didn't he say this uh-huh. in the in the beginning of the series? Like, yeah. don't fuck with them. Yeah, like he knew because yeah. he had, like, we didn't know that yeah. he had already re- dated Lily. Yeah. But he was like, when Dan was like, I'm going to try to get with this girl, he was like, you sure about that? Yeah. He ain't, you know, he didn't want to spoil his son's thing, but yeah. he knew, he knew, you know, that, that Lily family is trifling. Yeah. They got problems. They got secrets. Huge problems. So Jenny going to Blair mm-hmm. to try to get them off Nelly Yuki's neck. Yeah. Yo, get and off her neck. Get your hand out of my Nelly Yuki. Out. Yeah, <laughs> and they, it, but Blair don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. Blair's like it hurt. She's, She's got the uh, club. This, is this is when I got back on Blair team. I was like, when I saw her back in Queen Bee status, mm. I'm like, that's the Blair I remember. Yeah. She, she was sitting there like, look, I ain't got time for this. I, I got, I'm trying to find my ex boyfriend. Yeah, I got the comedy club. Pop. Yeah, yeah. What you got in your notes? What you got in your notes, Evan? Evan wrote uh, notes. Are we at the club yet or no? We ain't at the, we ain't okay. at the club yet. Oh, you got. Oh, okay. <laughs> he about to hit us with it. Yeah. I'm gonna let you say that. Talk about we that scene. We gonna get to that. Uh, we gonna get to that for sure. So. <laughs> Uh, Blair goes to Serena. Mm-hmm. She's real worried about Chuck. Yeah, like, she's like almost in tears, worried about him. And this is this is when I got on her side. I was yeah, like, she actually really does care about this dude. Yeah, and I think that that's good. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, and, and Serena, you know, like, he really oh, don't have nobody. Oh, you really care about him? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm gonna go do my shit and. If, yeah, if you still got like your shit going on, then I'll come and help you. That was so wild. I don't care about you. Bye. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, yeah, it's like, oh, well, you know, let's see how it plays out. Yeah, let's see how it plays out. And if it, if it, if, if it doesn't come home, if it doesn't come home, I got your back. But for right now, I can't be wild with your bullshit. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Go to hell. Yeah. Uh, and, like, this is your brother right here. Yeah. Your stepbrother, at least. Yeah. So Slim Charles and the gang, they back in Pinkberry. Yeah. And Eric, Jay. And Nelly and Yuki uh, is they at their out. table. They took on the corners. Now, hold on. This is in New York City. Mm-hmm. It's Pink Bear. It's Pink a Bear. restaurant anyone can go to. How yeah. do they have a table? It seems, like, it seems yeah. like people are just going to be coming in. Yeah. Nah, nah. This is this is the uh, the Pink Bear in the uh, Upper East Side Pink oh, okay. Bear. You know what I'm saying? You make reservations to go there. <laughs> they probably had a table for six. Got it. And so they had it all locked in. I like how they had them all. They, like it, this shit was literally like slip chart. It felt like the scene from The Wire. Like, she yeah. was like, she was like, "What the fuck y'all doing here? It's our corner now." It's our corner. Yeah. yeah. Like, Lil J is basically Marlo. And they was like, "Y'all better sit down because everybody's yeah. coming." And all this, all the high school kids. Yeah, they in. Rest in. Oh, they all going straight to the <laughs> tables. Like, like you don't go straight first. You got to go to the fucking. You got to get your cup of tart. <laughs> That's hilarious. Cause you know, basically they did. They had to make that point and all sit down. But then they after they they had to be like. Uh, you trying to go? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to go, get some go get that ice cream now. Some... Do you want to order for me? And yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what kind of toppings you want? What's your uh, Rochelle? What is your Pinkberry or, or your Yogurt Land order? Like, what, what you putting? On, what what flavor you getting? Because that was the thing. That's what that's mm. what fucked Pinkberry up. Yeah, they only had two flavors. That's right. They had two Remember flavors, that? and you could pick three toppings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yogurt Land comes in. 20 flavors, so, all, all the toppings, toppings you toppings. want. Walk out of yeah. here with a fucking big ass piece of shit yeah. ass. What what was your what was your your Yogurt Land order? Um, I always go for the tart. 
Okay. Yeah, but you better stop. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she had hit her head on the on the desk. For a <laughs> She's like, God. <laughs> yeah, you like tart tart um, daddy. Yeah, yeah, the tart daddy surprise. They should make an ice cream after you. Yeah, uh, at the uh, yoga land, a yoga, yeah. a frozen yogurt at me. So you get with original tart. Original tart. Um, all the berries and then coconut. That's it. And Kept then it mochi healthy. and then the mochi. Kept it healthy. Uh, I like mm. Captain Crunch. That's my shit. Captain Crunch and sprinkles. Not, mochi. That's what you it. going with? Mochi, also a little fruit cookie dough. Interesting. So here was my. Oh, yeah, strawberries. Good. I mm. do that the same every time. Original tart. Uh-huh. Tart Daddy. Yeah. That's what I call it. I was, Give me the Tart what Daddy is tart? special. Exactly. Like, Who I the fuck don't know you? what that is. Huh? What is tart? It's, it's just like. Not as sweet. Not as. Yeah, it's a little bit like. Uh, it's not. It doesn't taste like ice cream. They oh, had the one that okay, tastes like ice cream, but there's the one that's like, you know, you get a little bit of a. Yeah. A tart kick. Gotcha. And then uh, I'm going with white chips, white like yogurt Ooh, chips or white yeah, chocolate chips. Good. Yeah, yeah. A couple gummy bears because they had the good gummy bears. They had the Albanese gummy bears in there. The joke is it's mm. soft. Yeah. And I get kiwi and blueberry. Those are the fl- fruits <laughs> yeah, that they I get. Yeah, <laughs> And Fruity Pebbles. You ain't lying about that. Actually, you know, I, I always wanted to try, you know, I never liked Fruity Pebbles as a cereal, so mm-hmm. I never put it on my ice cream, but I think as an adult, I could probably fuck with that. Fruity Pebbles is my favorite breakfast cereal. Really? But it's mm-hmm. so messy in the milk. Yeah, I don't like that, that shit is tasty. Uh, that shit is good. I have to talk to my psychiatrist. <laughs> yeah, right now? In a little bit. Uh, you got 445? Yeah. All right, we'll get through this. We'll get through this. Okay. We'll get, we'll get to that. We'll get to your we'll psychiatrist to appointment. Well, I'll jump on the phone with your psychiatrist and see what's going on. Yeah. Uh, so... Well, where we at? Where we at? Oh yeah. Oh oh. Slim Charles calls her dad. She's like, Jenny, you're gonna pay. That was crazy. You gonna pay for this, Jenny Humphrey? And, and she, she said, calls Daddy. her dad. And says, Daddy, there's a girl at school bullying me. Call Miss Queller. Daddy. And Miss Queller was like, Chuck Bass, bring that ass. Daddy. 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 Somebody bullying me. Zim, Zaddy, Somebody bullying me. I want a hot dog. They never paid that off. No, they didn't. I yeah. just realized. They, they kind of did at the end. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Uh, <laughs> so Blair finds Chuck at the club, uh-huh. draped in the girls. He bought the club back, and he's playing her. She's like, man, just tell me you love me. That That's all she cares crazy. about. I know. Like, come on, you left me hanging. You left me hanging. Because I feel like she kind of knows he loves her. She loves him. Yeah. Or he loves her. But it, she understands why he didn't say it then, because his dad just died. It was kind of bad timing on Blair's yeah, part. Yeah, yeah, But, like, like, look, I've been waiting for you. Come on, give me that love back. What's happening? What's happening? Yeah. Like, and then he's, like, he's, he's, it ain't he's, happening. He's hooking it up. Yeah, out there. yeah. He back at the club. What they call it, Vic Troller? What you know about Vic Troller? You ever been to one of those? No. Yeah, I never what been to one. What is that? Like a that's the name of the Vic Troller. That's the name of the burlesque the, the bless burlesque house. Oh shit, Vic yeah. Troller. That's tight. Uh, <laughs> Serena and Dan pull up to the loft, go through roof dog shit. Yeah. I mm-hmm. knew they was gonna get caught. Well, I thought roof was yeah. gonna come in there swinging. Yeah. Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> I just punch like, him back in like the acoustic guitar. Yeah, smash the acoustic guitar. And have, he, he got the neck of the guitar, like, come here. Come here, <laughs> Serena. I'm about to stab your ass. <laughs> With the strings, he, he put yeah, the strings yeah. on, the, on the eyeballs. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah um, man, Ruth, they, I understand, though, because they're so confused. Like, yeah, like they well, have no idea what's going on. Why, yeah, why like, might dad become an asshole? I know. Yeah, like, yeah, something's yeah. clearly wrong with yeah. him. Yeah. What do you think, though? Does he, he don't really got to tell them, though, right? No, but he's being so weird about it yeah he could yeah. just be like in a calm way being like hey yeah. something's going on with me right doesn't bother you just yeah. really like oh, come on yeah. <laughs> get out of here he's, he's so mad at everybody. he's so mad he's like, get this woman home. out of my house yeah. Yeah. yeah i think it's time for serena to go home and then she was like bye mr humphrey and she said bye mr humphrey and he went yeah, <laughs> yeah <with the> <laughs> he nodded at her mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, ma'am Man, uh, that shit was crazy take your ass out of here take your ass out of my goddamn house you know i don't like this shit but anyway mm-hmm. he finds the list of orphanages. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He calls one of them. And they're like, mm-hmm. Boston Orphanage for Orphan Kids. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and, and he doesn't say nothing there. Hello. Stay true. Hello. Orphan. Do you want to yeah. adopt a child? Hello. Yeah. And then they, and then he hangs up. So now he knows some shit is going on. Yeah. But he still kind of doesn't know, yeah. huh? He didn't really put it together he too didn't well. Put it together. Thinks now, he, maybe thinks his dad is adopting. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe he wants a kid. He, <laughs> so, he don't know yeah. who to pick, and that's why yeah. he's so upset. Yeah. There's too many choices. Well, too many Evan, flavors. Like Pinkberry. It's your yeah. time to shine. Yeah. Uh, Blair gets home. Oh, no, not yet. Not your time to shine yet. You still, right. Stay dull. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, Blair uh, Blair gets home uh-huh. after Chuck and and Dorota's like, Miss Blair, the yeah. colony ladies are coming right now. Yeah. Get your shit together. And she's like, give me 10 minutes. And she goes upstairs and she cries. This was the moment. Yeah. And I was like, all right, Blair, I get it. Like, yeah. I feel you. Yeah. 
She's in love, and also Layton was just killing it. Shout out to Layton. It was a good, it was a good episode. She's a good Layton actor, episode. Asshole. Cause like she's such a. That's how you know she's a good actor. Cause like that character is so unlikable, but it's like, damn, sorry, girl, sorry you're going through that. Yeah. Uh, but the colony women are coming. You know, a lot of like slave master energy there. The colony women. <laughs> yeah, 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 they coming. Yeah, like, a lot of a lot of slave energy there. We got a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we got a couple. We got a couple more scenes in here. I'm gonna breeze through these so we can get to okay. to Evan. Uh, Nelly Yuki got the dirt on Slim Charles. That's yeah. a good that, uh, what's her name? Ears perk up, Jenny ears perk up, which is funny because she was like, no, oh, I can't tell you that. Yeah. She'll kill me. And Jenny was like. Maybe we'll yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that James just didn't give a fuck. Yeah, she care. still got that that, yeah. that that the humdinger shit in her. Yeah, but she's like, she's like, ooh, I got the. Oh, okay, she's I'm like, gonna fuck right. some Charles up. Fuck yeah, you, Charles. You, might, you might die. But yeah. what's going on though? Yeah, that shit was tight. Uh, Blair let the uh, she lets the ladies over. Mm-hmm. Oh no, Dan confronts Rufus yeah. about the secrets. He don't say nothing. Yeah, he's like, I want to tell you, but not, it's not. It's not. not my it's not time. my secret to tell. Yeah. Go ahead. And then mm. Blair gets the colony ladies. Yeah. In the no, the house. Yeah, they they walking in. Yeah, she's she, giving up on Chuck. Because when well, Serena came first, yeah. it was like, this was a good scene. I Because she was like, Serena was like, what, are you okay? With, you know, are you just going to give up on Chuck? And she's like, yeah, yeah, fuck him. And I think I was with Blair right there because I'm like, yeah, look out for yourself. Like, yeah. stop, you know, you, you, you showed him, you tried. But Serena, that's why Serena's stupid because she don't pay attention. No. She don't know what's going on. She's like, see, and then it's going to make her feel bad. Like, so you're yeah. just going to give up on Chuck? I guess it was good advice. It ended up being good advice at the end, but yeah. whatever. Fuck Serena. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. My now, thoughts are all combobulated. <laughs> Dan goes to the club. He goes to the uh-huh. Big Triola. Yeah. And <laughs> he's like, oh, what's, uh, I'll exchange this for you if you bury that story on my dad. And Dan's mm. like, all right, man, I wasn't going to tell the story anyway. Yeah. Like, it's fine. And yeah. then he tells him. Your parents mm. had a baby. You weren't the only. You weren't the first. Home yeah, yeah, I love the way he the did first it. Born. Yeah, 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 that was so funny. If you were planning on getting the estate, I was like, <laughs> yeah, Chuck is a Chuck fool. Is, yeah. He was roasting his yeah. ass. <laughs> the Brooklyn get, love uh, yeah. goes to somebody yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you were gonna get that royalties from his songs. <laughs> that shit was crazy. But that was that mm. was like, I, Chuck kind of did a good thing, I guess, or like it wasn't like it was like. It was, just, it was just like lateral, like yeah. Because it was like move. on one hand, I respect that he didn't want to. Because that's the real thing. Is like it's Lily's secret. Like, yeah. He probably was like, I want to keep the secret for her, but he's like, whatever. Yeah. Dan should know this too. Dan should know. So now Dan knows. Now he mm. don't. He look at. And then you look over his shoulder, and Serena's up there looking like. Yeah, I don't Dan know. didn't know mm-hmm. how to feel either. He had that like gold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I don't know how to you feel about tell this. Her? I have a little brother. I have a brother. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't know. It, it would be a big brother actually. That's so um, weird. Yeah. So that, what would that make him and Serena? Just half brothers, sister? They wouldn't be no, siblings at all. <laughs> they would, so they, they would still uh, be nothing. Uh, they would just share a sibling. Mm-hmm. I've never seen that before. Yeah, that's it. That's interesting. Have you ever seen that? <laughs> 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 now, all right. The ladies are at Blair House. Yeah. What do you got to say? What about you got it? to say? Not so good. Too big of a build up. I just, I just love for, put your notes out. <laughs> For as big of a buildup, I was expecting it to be like, damn, this, these ladies are cool. Uh, it's like they're like four ladies like in their like mid-40s. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, it doesn't seem so appealing. Wet. It doesn't seem good. <laughs> yeah. like, I thought it was going to be like, oh, this is what classic life is like. Yeah, and it like, yeah. seems like a good thing. And then you just see them and they're just like being boring. Yeah. And being like, oh, you don't associate with that Chuck it, Bass character, yeah, do you? Yeah, they were wackety whack. Yeah. They were like, uh, they were like. But I yeah, totally agree. It was like, I thought it was going to be like this cool, high society, socialite mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. Um, it's like a weird book club. Yeah. yeah. And they were like, mmm. These women were annoying as hell, yeah. too. I did not like them. Yeah, they was like just anything. gossiping and shit. Yeah. They, and they just sit there and gossip. They sit like, there and gossip, girl. Yeah. They she, doesn't gossip wear, girl. she doesn't wear much on page six. I see that Serena Vander was on with, page six. Yeah. And at first, Blair was like getting her back, like, oh, we're not friends like that no more. Yeah. We mm-hmm. just kind of whatever, yeah. you know, and then she was like, nah, man, you roasted yeah. all my people. I was like, shout yeah. out to Dorota, because Dorota gave her this look like, Blair, integrity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, If you don't get your ass, if you don't stop letting them talk shit about your people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit was tight. Yeah. That was another another good moment for Blair. Yeah. This is a Blair episode. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Blair. Yeah, she shut down the colony ladies. I don't trust them ladies. I'm pretty sure they own slaves. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. got to give, give Blair the cowbell for this episode. Yeah. Blair. The ceremonial cowbell. It's been a long time coming. She's been whacked this whole season. Yeah, she's been But I, you know, it's funny. I wonder if that was part of the arc. That's probably good writing there. Yeah. That's probably, yeah. they put me on an emotional journey. So Chuck in the club, he's fucked up. And Eric. I want to get Chuck <laughs> in this club. <laughs> I want to get Chuck in this club. In this club. In this club. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, and Eric with walks us. up. <laughs> Eric looked like a like shirt way too big on his body. Yeah. 
Like, man, if you don't get that like, fucking TJ Maxx ass shirt. How do you get in there? Like, I know. So it, it, I mean, it's a high school party. Chuck oh, is throwing the first day of oh, school okay. party. Oh, mm-hmm. is that what he's doing? Yeah. Oh, that's lit. Damn, that must have yeah. been lit. That shit is fun. Uh, it's, it's dope to have a party on the first day back. Yeah, yeah. That shit's yeah. got to be sick. Yeah. Did you go to homecoming and promise, though? Mm-hmm. I went to a small, like, school, so it wasn't such a big deal. But I, then um, I went to big public schools, homecoming and prom, too. That was yeah. cool. Yeah, they be lit. Yeah. Homecoming is lit. Damn, homecoming was fun. Prom was super fun. We, we should do that more often. We should do homecomings. Like, yeah. As, we should do a headgum homecoming. Headgum. Yeah. Uh-huh. So uh, my question is, uh, do you think Chuck is really like, fuck, I feel bad for Eric. He wants his brother back. But yeah. Do you yeah. feel like he really just doesn't care anymore? Or he's just giving him a hard He's time. like, it was nice being your little brother. I think they'll come back around. I think Chuck yeah. will come back around. I think he'll figure it out, especially yeah. after what happens. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lil' J confronts the girls for the mm-hmm. Nelly Yuki shit. That was like, but then Nelly Yuki turned yeah. around. I you know, know. With, the, with the wet yeah, ass glasses. I did not see that coming. I did not I see did, that I shit either. I didn't see that coming either. She's like, I thought you were trying to be Queen B. Yeah. 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 Cause she really thought Jenny had a chance. Yeah. And I thought that was gonna make Jenny be like, Man, did I have a chance? Like, yeah. Should I do that Jesus. shit? Because basically Slim Charles gave it up. I was like, all right, yeah. so what are we gonna do about this? That's dance? why she's Slim Charles, because she can she can't be number one. She's yeah. like, damn, you did a good like that's so crazy. That's literally what Slim Charles would do. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> like literally be like, damn, Jenny, you really have me. Can I work for you now? Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. like, all right, I work for you. And I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. Penelope, this is you that's in charge. You, you can do you this. Charles. Charles She's like, in charge. Nah, I'm number two. Yeah. I'm always gonna be number two. <laughs> Never number one. Never number one. Uh, but yeah, no, um, but but it was but then Eric, Eric had his line, he's like, but you changed. Yeah, that you don't wanna oh. like, nothing has changed mm-hmm. except you. Except yeah. you, Jenny. And then Eric's like, do you want to go get hot chocolate? Yeah. And she's like, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Loser. Uh, you. Can we get the you who I'm going to bubble? <laughs> yeah. So, Ruth tell, Lily, Lily uh, comes, pulls up, and Rufus mm-hmm. tells, like, mm-hmm. Dan either knows or he about to know. Yeah. Like, something's happening. Yeah. It, and then Lily, yeah, Lily's freaking out. She's like, man, they're going to hate. Like, because, you know, her, her kids are going to find out soon. Yeah. yeah. And Rufus does a nice thing. He's like, Lily, I don't hate you. And the kids aren't going to hate you either. Yeah. It's just, it's going to take some time. Yeah. It's gonna Rufus take... is back at this point. Rufus yeah, back. that's real Rufus that I know. Because yeah. like, I didn't recognize him this episode. Yeah. Rufus don't have the heart to hate somebody. Yeah. yeah. Especially Lily. He loves Lily. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel he... bad for her. Like, man. Yeah. She probably dealing with it in her, her way still. Yeah. Yeah. So, back at the club, Dan's about to tell Serena. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just as he's this about close. to do it. So close. So close. Rufus calls him. Yeah. Boom. He got to take this call. Yeah. What do you know? You know? <laughs> <laughs> what do you know, Jack? What, what do you know? say, Jack? You, <laughs> what you know? Say? You, you know, know what I know? You know what I know? You know about you know the baby? Know? You know about the child? Yeah. You know about the child. <laughs> she was like, he was like, yeah, I'm just about to tell mm. Serena right now. Yeah. No, nah, I don't tell Serena. Oh, come on, Dad, I can't hold. This is too big of a secret. I know. Yeah. Come nah. on, man. You know I'm a snitch. Yeah. You know, you know, <laughs> you know, you know I, I can't, can't hold my water. Mouth. You know I lose lips That boy chips. can't hold water. Yeah. He can't say. <laughs> he has to tell. He's like, Dad, you know me. You birthed me. You know I got to tell. Yeah. <laughs> you know I'm a snitch by b- blood. You got big six, nine energy. Yeah. So, but he, yeah. he finally is like, it's not your, it's not your secret mm-hmm. to tell. Yeah. Don't tell. Yeah. yeah, it was a good moment. Don't it was tell a good him, don't moment. You know, that's what he just kind of should have said from the beginning. Yeah, he had, he had that calm energy. Yeah, that roof energy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's back. He's yeah, like, he was Look, back. I respect Rufus your back, baby. Yeah, roof is back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I would have done if I were writing the scene. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Is I would have said. I'm going away for a little bit, but when I get back, I want to I wanna do some cooking yeah. for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you would have known he's yeah. back. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, That's this is funny. when he... Yeah, he would have, he's like, I got to go on this little trip. Yeah. But when I get back, it's going to be some hot hot sauce, yeah. like some hot ca- chamomile. I don't know. I lost, I lost <laughs> some hot dogs. Zam Zeddy want a hot dog. We're going to have some hot dogs. <laughs> For sure, over there. I, I felt bad. <laughs> <laughs> I would think uh, of like the writer's assistant who's like trying to get pictures in, uh-huh. and he's like, "Hey, maybe uh, Rufus could be cooking." And like, "No, not this yeah, episode. Not, not this <laughs> no. episode." Rufus, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Rufus yeah. is switched up this we episode. Forgot, there's that one writer who's always like, uh, "You forgot to have Rufus cooking in yeah. the scene." He's like, "Well, we it's too late. We're going to production." So, uh, send it off. <laughs> well, it's so, the one time they don't want to hear it. Though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, that's when he announced. He's like, "Me and Lily about to go away." Yeah, yeah. About did, to say, did he tell that he did he say he's going to find the kid? I think to, so. To I think he did say. He knows so. that, right? Yeah, well, because I know that. That's what. Yeah, yeah. So, so I that must have been in the closet. He yeah. told someone. So he said that, yeah. <laughs> he said that to somebody. I don't know who he said it to. He said it to Dan, I think. Yeah. So, uh, meanwhile, mm-hmm. 
uh, they Blair and Uncle Jack at the party, and Blair, yeah. Uncle Jack's like, Blair, what's mm-hmm. good? And she's like, oh, I, can't I can't stand, stand you. That. Now, I got I got a theory about this, but um, mm-hmm. uh, how old do you think Uncle Jack is? He's got to be in his thirties at least. Yeah. Bart Bass was an old ass man. Yeah. I think yeah. It, so then, wait, yeah, Uncle. Also, I had all these rich people. You think it was who knows weird. how many marriages? Yeah. yeah. Did we talk about the scene where he jumps? He's about oh, look, on the cliff yet? We about to, we about to talk about it right now. Oh, okay. So he like Eric had told him like he said he was gonna go upstairs for a second. He's like, oh yeah. maybe just upstairs. Yeah. Drinking or something. Like no, Chuck got a thing for roofs. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> you don't know him like I know. You don't know him he like likes I know. roofs. He likes roofs. <laughs> Let's get up on the roof. So he's up there. Chuck is walking on the edge of glory. He's up there, yeah. drunk as hell. He's like bop. Ba, and then ba, da, da, uh, yeah. New, York. New York, New York, and then he's drinking a whiskey bottle and he drops the whiskey bottle over the edge. He's like, Whoa. and then Jack, Uncle Jack, scares him. Chuck, he, yeah. goes, he almost slips off. I'm like, yeah. bro, ain't no way your drunk ass got that good a balance. Chuck yeah. should be dead right yeah. now. Yeah. I love Blair. Though. She's like, did you don't be think scared, there was any you chance? bitch ass. I thought yeah. she called him a bitch ass. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Did you think there was any chance that he would fall? I didn't. No, uh, of course not. Yeah. No, they ain't gonna kill yeah. Chuck. Not this. No. Not like this. Yeah. Not after they just killed yeah. my man. Bass. We gotta get to yeah. this picture. Yeah. This spoiler alert ass picture. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel like you can't kill this uh, son. Have you ever seen a show where they killed the father and the son in the Never. same season? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be devastating. <laughs> That'd be uh, nuts. I still don't think he's dead. I don't know. I mean, well, yeah, of course he's dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, so like, but I love that Blair just called, like, I like that dynamic. Like, what the fuck you doing? Yeah, yeah, why would you scare somebody on the edge of He's on his death, he's yeah. on his suicidal death. So <laughs> he said, he mm-hmm. think nobody cares about him, but they all yeah. do. And Blair's like, I got your back. I'm here for mm-hmm. you, everything. And he lets Blair take him down yeah. on the edge. It was a good moment. He, he got, didn't say I love you, though. He didn't say I love you, but his balance was crazy walking on the edge. Oh, you know what's weird? He almost slipped. He slipped and went down. Yeah. It's like, bro, come on, man. Especially with them that shoes on, them Stacey bro. Adams. Yeah, no way he can walk a mile in Stacey Adams. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had a question for y'all. So remember that scene where he was looking at the burlesque dancers? They were dancing. It was mm-hmm. all blurry and stuff in that shot. Uh, what was going on there? Was he on drugs? Were they trying to say he's fucked up on drugs? Or was he like just looking Grieving at them? Grieving and drunk. Oh, uh, just like, yeah. just like oh, I don't know. What's I got to go like, to the It was roof. just his point of view. Like, yeah, just how yeah. fucked up he is. Yeah. Okay. That's that was. So Dan tells, about to tell, oh no. Oh, I skipped, I skipped that scene. We already talked about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, he agrees not to tell. We, yeah, so don't, I, tell I, I jump, don't tell him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. So anyway, Serena is, but they're being kind of cool. Like even though I don't trust it, but the way Serena and Dan are acting right now is cool. Yeah. I like yeah, seeing it. But that's I'm great. Just, nah, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't trust, trust it. Trust I don't it. trust it. There's no way that's gonna work. No, no not, way. Not, not no even way. Close. I can't imagine. I can't. Yeah. So Uncle Jack taking Chuck away. Yeah. Says and then Blair says something crazy. Yeah. yeah. He, I don't trust you. And he was like, Blair, I care about my nephew. Also, you got a choice yeah. to trust me or not? Mm-hmm. Wow. And then he's like, she, he can't find out what happens on New Year's. Hum Did Blair, digger. Humdinger. That's, that's the humdinger. humdinger. That was a humdinger. That's the hum fucking that was, dinger. That was a humdinger of all dingers. <laughs> Here's what I don't. <laughs> cowbell. Here's weak. what I need. <laughs> weak ass cowbell. Wait, should I turn my volume up? Oh, no, my nah, we need a real yeah. cowbell. Yeah. And <laughs> it's like a keyboard cowbell when you have the keyboard. Yeah. It's like, it's like DJ, DJ, DJ. cowbell, <laughs> cowbell. Yeah. It just goes cowbell. Uh, this shit is crazy to me because first thing I thought was, did this grown ass man hook up with this child on New Year's? Well, that's Year? definitely what I thought. That's is there I something thought. else? Could it be? What else could it be? Uh, she hooked up with, and this and this and this know. brought it yeah. all back down to earth. After we was feeling so good about Miss Blair, yeah. this whole episode, yeah, her ass hooked up with grown ass Uncle Jack, which is crazy because I'm thinking, when could that have happened? When could it have happened? Yeah. We didn't yeah. see it happen, and maybe maybe mm-hmm. like that would be that would be crazy. Yeah, like I need to know how old Uncle Jack is in this shit. Yeah, because like, that's like a real that's a problem. Uh, that's a problem. I don't. Well, know. no, she's had her 18th birthday. If it was recently, I feel like it's the way they talking like it happened before. There was an episode like, with her 18th birthday, right? Didn't yeah, we yeah, no, she's yeah. 18. Yeah, okay. it was, and she was, and it like, was New Year's, so it'd have been after that. Yeah, so she's grown. I want to know what happened. Yeah, I want to know what happened. It might too. not be a sex thing. Like I can't remember. It could be anything. Yeah, it could have been like they they did opium together. I don't know. <laughs> or uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> did Uncle Jack kill? Bass, Chuck Daddy? Bass, yeah. Oh Bart shit! 
Oh, or did shit. Blair kill Bart Bad? Or did they plan it together or something? Yeah. I really don't but know. But no, it was New Year's I, Eve. So that would have been, New Year's mm-hmm. Eve was after, uh, yeah. But that's know. an interesting theory. I I generally can't remember, so I'm with you. I, I, I can't crazy. spoil it. Do spoil not spoil this shit in the DMs. Yeah. I swear to God, if you spoil this shit in the DMs, I'm going to block your ass. <laughs> you are blocked. If, if You're going to you get sp- Miss Heller blocked, Miss yeah. Queller blocked. We do not know. I don't, I genuinely don't know. Yeah. So I'm watching this in real time. If you're watching this show in real time though. with us, congratulations. We are all on the same thing. I still got this on from last night. That's I was it. at the club. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> what? Where? What club was that? It was uh, at Club the, Sparkle. <laughs> yeah, club, club Sparkle. I was at the Club Sparkle. Um, but yeah. I, yeah. Um, I don't know what. But that was such good writing. That's yeah. such great writing. Because yeah. I was like, it's like right when you like. You're just Blair. on board with her. Yeah. It's like, damn. Cold, cold blooded. That's, cold blooded. It's a cold game out here. It's a cold world, game. You know this saying? episode, certified humdinger. Yeah, certified <laughs> humdinger. And uh, it sounds kind of like chimes more so. Yeah, it's not. It's not. The, the, uh, let me see. Do like a trumpet, like ba 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 ba. You know what we need? Like a someone, Rochelle. You should just record yourself saying humdinger, and, humdinger. Then, we'll play, and then we'll play that over and over again. Humdinger. That's yeah, fine. Other... That's uh, how you be making this is other shit. Uh, I don't know. The funk. Uh, some Memphis shit, it sounds like. Anyway. Okay. That was the end of this episode. Uh, <laughs> 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 that sound is not going to show up on the mic, I bet you. Uh, but mm-hmm. neither here nor there. My brother, Evan Susser, you've listened to the show. Yeah. You know how our rating system works. So it's XOXO, that counts as one. That counts as one. one. Yes. Mm-hmm. Between one and five, zero and five. Right? You can give it zero XOXO if you want to. But give us your final thoughts. All right. Of all the episodes, this one's a little down as far mm-hmm. as what's yeah. going on. Yeah. So it it's not, I couldn't get just completely into all the humdingers. I know what you mean. Because there's some sad, some real stuff going on. But still some good humdingers, yeah, especially yeah, yeah. at the end. Mm. And... I don't know if I like the direction for Rooftop, but it was interesting. I love Rufus. Yeah. And seeing, so you, you know. Family, you family. Yeah. So you big Roof fan? Yes. Yeah, that's what I So about. I think I'll go XOXO, XOXO, XOXO. So what's that? Three, three XOs? Three XOs. So the three XOs. Okay, ready? So XOXO, 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 XOXO. Okay. That's well, a good a three. I, I hear you. Yeah, I get you. I'm I hear, you it, it's a lot of emotional stuff yeah. going on, but yeah. I love that stuff. That's like pouring to me. Sure. I like seeing people cry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, I get a shit. I gotta give it five. I'm sorry. I know I keep giving fives out lately, but Do you? shit was fucking good. Man. <laughs> so five, five XOs. So that's XOXO. 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 Which gets called a humdinger. <laughs> what does that sound? What is that supposed to be? It just says cowbells. What are you like. on? I'm on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> Google like Google real ass cowboy sounds, not and say not no bullshit and see what comes up. Watch what a video came was like. Here's that real ass cowbell sound you're looking for, not that whack shit. It's an XOXO. Uh, but digger. yeah, just to explain why. Oh my god, is that is that headgun podcast? Uh, oh, we should make that the news intro thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you think, Rochelle? What's your XOs? What's she, what's she giving you? Um. I'm with Evan, maybe three and a half, because I've just been really sad since Bass Daddy died. Hey, oh, really? Uh, you miss him? I miss him. God rest yeah, his soul. Because you, you, was, you was feeling Bass Daddy. Yeah. I, you, everybody got tr- a crush on Bass Daddy. Yeah, man. Bass mm. Daddy is whack, whack Daddy. No. He was whack. What is that show? What does he say? What, what's your name? <laughs> my name's Bass Daddy. Sounds whack. Sounds whack. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds whack, from? Daddy. <laughs> Where you um, from? New York. Sounds so whack. So that's three XO? Three and a half? Three and a half. Three and a half. So that's XO, XO, XO. XO. XOXO, 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 XO. Let's go. I'm going to give this episode 3.865 because I did not think it was a humdinger. It started off slow to me. It got good in the end, though. Some big humdingers. I didn't like like the color Rufus was painted in this episode, but then he switched it up at the end. Yeah. I'm just being honest. I'm just being real. Let's just be honest. Let's just just be be real. real. Like, like uh, like, what's her name told us to do? Um... Not Doja Cat. What was her uh, name? Mary J. Blige. No. Let's just be honest. Let's just, Let's be, just be real. real. Oh, uh, what's her name? Humdinger Rap? <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Uh, Dej Loaf. Dej Loaf. Yeah. 3.87. 
3.865. Okay. I, I, I like so that. That's XOXO. 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 Let's just be honest. <laughs> Let, uh, no, somebody turn them off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look like my cousin when you did that. This time. <laughs> hey, so, okay, so I'm a Lone Ranger in this, huh? Yeah. Giving out perfect scores Ranger. over here? Giving out perfect scores. You know I like that emotional you're great on shit. The curve. If, you wanna, if you're talking about heartstrings, you got me. That's how, you know, ladies, all you got to do is tug on my heartstrings. All right. <laughs> what? Don't touch my heartstrings, ladies. Yeah. I'm emotionally, emotionally unavailable. I'm emotionally available. I'm too emotionally available. That's how girls, when they, they're up there, you, they'd be like, he's emotionally unavailable today. I mean, he's too emotionally available. <laughs> All right. You know what time it is? Tell them what time it is. It's time for the news. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, okay. Bum, 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 bum. It's live <laughs> on the news at Gossip, so Gossip Kings Radio. We have our man, as a, Evan Sussel, here. What, what, what the way it works is, oh, you know how it works. I'm going to explain this. So we're going to get right into it. Big day of news today. All right, check it out. So uh, potato rolls are being boycotted right now because these are, this is bread made out of, these are hung, hamburger uh, and uh, hot dog buns made from potato. And they sell them in the South, and they've been endorsed by the right-wing media. <laughs> and so I want to know who who, <laughs> who, would, who would cook with these, who would eat or have a barbecue with these rolls on the show? I mean, the uh, Colony Club. Yeah, the yeah. The Colony Club, for yeah, sure. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. We would we like some of the potato, potato uh, honey bun yeah. rolls. Yeah, the Colony Club is trash. I'm going to start a whole another podcast about the Colony Club, because I, I have a real th- th- theory about them. Okay. All right, so Suge Knight, right? <laughs> uh-huh. Suge Knight is testifying that Dr. Dre tried to kill him. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, so my question is, who would try to kill uh, Dr. Who would try to kill Suge Knight on this show? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Who would have the Who would have the gall to do that? I was I was surprised to hear that. Mm-hmm. I think kind of feel like Suge Knight's lying though. I think Blair would try to kill Suge Knight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like she would put a hit on him. She would put a hit on Suge Knight for sure. I think Jack Bass would do it. I think the Bass family they ain't afraid of sh- the Suge Knight family. I feel mm-hmm. like the Bass family would would, would check, would, would, or maybe they would pay him off. Maybe they wouldn't take him out. Yeah, they would try to pay him off first. Then like, if they don't, okay. What about uh? That, that's it. That wraps it up. That wraps it up. <laughs> All right, no, I got one more. Okay, so tonight they're doing the Janet. Well, I don't know about tonight, but whenever you listen to this podcast, they're doing a Jerry hearings on a January sixth uh, oh, yeah. stuff. So. Mm. I want to know who do we, who do we want to see testify from our show at this hearing tonight? Oh, I thought you said who's gonna who would have been there on January sixth? Well, you know, because <laughs> nah, nah, they they weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> who do we want to see testify? Yeah, mm-hmm. testify against or in favor of either one, either way. Just who, whose story do you want to hear? I want to hear Rufus's story. Yeah, how he was yeah. mad that Dan went to this. Yeah, how he was mad that both his kids went to this. I feel like yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> Dan, Dan seemed like. Even though he's a, probably a good guy, he seemed like he could get turned real quick to yeah. the Proud Boys. <laughs> or Jenny could, Jenny could also become Jenny a Proud for sure. Boy. Jenny could yeah, become a Proud Boy. Yeah, she's like, I'm a sure. fucking Proud Boy now. Yeah, you fucking. don't tell me what to do, Dad. You uh, don't tell me what to do, I'm a Proud Boy, do Dad. Do they have women in the Proud Boys? <laughs> yeah, they got Proud Girls. <laughs> for real? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? Yeah. <laughs> Get this sound effects away from this man. <laughs> All right. Also, I think I want to see I want to see Lily testify. I feel like she would have something good to say about mm-hmm. uh, our country. She'd Lily like, would go. <laughs> Lily would say, "I, for one, would <laughs> never go to something like this." Yeah. <laughs> I mean, was there food? Was there planning? Was, was there, there was, was this? I, pl- was I planned plenty riots, I, and I have never seen a riot get this messy like yeah. this. <laughs> it was uh, bad. With I the think, grandma. I think oh, the grandma. I think Roof Dog. Oh, yeah, grandma would have been there. Yeah. Grandma would have been like, get him! Uh, get my pants. I've changed my mind yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like, I voted for Biden, but I still think the election was a fraud. <laughs> um, and also, I think uh, I think Big Roof Dog, not only do I think he would have been there, but I think he would have been fighting them. I think he would have been 
working with the I think he yeah, would have been the on, capital, on the, yeah, yeah police. I think he would have volunteered to try to save everybody. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, big yeah, yeah. big roof would have been one of the police trying to hold him back. Yeah, trying to stop them. Nancy Pelosi, come with me. Yeah, come on, I got you. Follow me. Yeah. Put this gas mask on. They were running down like this. They know where to go. He's like, come with me. I'll cook everyone some food. I got a big pot of bolognese over here. And he's like, they're all in the room. They're all like locked down in the barricade. And mm-hmm. he's like, ooh, I could put these Cheetos together and make a nice little <laughs> snack for you guys. Yeah. And they're like, man, thanks, Roof. He's like, nah, for my country, I'll do anything. Shout out to the January 6th hearing. Very excited about it. I hope uh, the truth comes out, even though a lot of it is already out. So <laughs> if you don't know. It's out. People don't care. Know. <laughs> it's true. Uh, so that's the news for today. Thank you for that. Thank you so much. Let's get a cowbell for the news. <laughs> God damn it. Did you These <laughs> intros? Oh, Stop. that's what it oh, there is. There it is. That's a real problem for sound effects. No. The, the commercial intros. Yeah, the they commercial have to fix intro. that. They have to do something. Because I pay for I pay for YouTube. Hold on. Let me just make one thing clear for all the <laughs> listeners. I pay for YouTube premium. Yeah. Okay? So I don't have commercials. I don't have ads on my videos. Right. It doesn't happen. That's one flex I have in my life. That mm. and all the jewelry I buy. But also, <laughs> mm, I pay for YouTube premium. This is premium. My, my shit don't even say YouTube. It's just called premium. You know what's a good flex? The dry cleaners. Yeah, dry cleaners is a good flex. That's a good you way to clean. Take your drawers to the dry cleaners. Yeah, take everything. Take I, don't, everything I, don't, I, don't, I don't wash clothes no more. Take I take it all to the dry cleaners. And they fluff and fold. And when you, and there's no better feeling. You go pick up your underwear and it's in that big plastic bag and it's just taking up all the space and there's just a little ass underwear in there. <laughs> yeah. You're like, yeah, it's steam clean though, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't let nobody touch my underwear. That's, that's my intimates. Hmm? I don't nobody touching my hands. <laughs> uh, anyway, not. that wraps up this episode of XOXO Gossip Kids. Give it up for our guest today, Evan Susser. Yeah. Come you on. You want to plug anything, Sus? Evan, tell us what you got going on, baby. Just Gossip Girl and Gossip <laughs> Kings. Keep listening. Keep watching, guys. Yeah. I'm on the journey now. I'm going to keep watching. You can keep watching for all. I'm going to keep watching. If you do. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to keep yeah. on watching. Keep watching. Watch mm-hmm. Fist Fight. You can get it on Amazon. Yeah, great uh, movie. Great. On, that's probably I, one of the best IT performances I've ever seen, to be honest. It was better than Boys in the Hood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And more influential. And the fights were better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Please make sure you rate and review this podcast on Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts. I don't know if they have rating and review systems, but do it anyway. Just t- tell everybody yeah. about it. And share tell it, friend, share it. Friend, a lot of the pet fans are sharing it, and, I, and you guys are the good fans. Share yeah. it around. Share it to your friends, let's your moms, a, your dads, your sisters. Let's get 1,000 followers on our on our page, okay? Let's, let's beef it up and get 1,000 yeah. followers on our Instagram page. And uh, keep them DMs coming. And to all the ladies sending nudes, uh, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing around. I'm or just I? playing. I'm just playing. That's it, XOX on Gossip Kings, brought to you by Athletic Greens. Uh, we got another ad to do today, too. And that's, 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 that's for us to know. Anyway, uh, we'll see you next time. XOX on Gossip Kings yeah. underscore podcast on Instagram. Follow. Send us your user spotters. We'll get back to the user spotters when we get to them. Thank you for keep sending them. They're not going unread, I think. Lamar's no, reading them. I don't I read them all the time. I've seen I, I have all the spotters memorized in my head. So <laughs> and we I'm will ready. get to them. But if I see a spotter, I got to talk about it. You got to talk about it. You got to, we Shout got our own spot. That's what we started with. That was the, that was the original yeah. plan is that we were going to have spotters every week. And then we realized we don't be seeing nobody. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> so y'all helped us out and y'all continue to help us out. We love you. Be well. Be, be safe. safe. Eat good. Smoke good. Drink good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Take good. care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Live your truth. Live your life. Yeah. Live your truth. Live your life. Be you. Do what you do. Drink Coke Zero. Uh, Yeah, that's my outro. Bye. 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 That was a HeadGum Podcast.